bitch. Here I am in my voice. Gotta make that baby rejoice. Here I am in my voice. <laughs> uh, I didn't expect that. We'll fucking roll with it though. Welcome to Harley Town. I really. <laughs> if you were high and this happened to you, you would be like, what? <laughs> Let's get started. We should make everybody speak through this. What? It's not making everybody speak through this. Let's make Spencer Clinton speak through that microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, Spencer Clinton. You know him. You love him. D and D's own on the microphone. How are you? I don't know, man. This, uh, this thing's fucking with me. Yeah, you're robotic. Let's try this one. Yeah. yeah. Make some noise for Rob Strong. Oh, oh, yeah. We love him so much. <laughs> oh, shit. And just Comfort. to make sure everyone's working. <laughs> Please give a huge round of applause for the man, the mayor, Dan Harbour! Uh, oh, lucky charm! Uh, Thanks for coming downtown tonight. Yeah. I'm, I'm decked out in. Shrub's activating the M- M- Votron. I'm decked out in sponsor. Uh, ship. Uh, Who sent us those, Dan? This is a me onesie. This is that I'm wearing. Me undies. Their... Come on, man. I mean, what the? What? It, it, What's it's wrong? Not, He's it, trying again. It, do you do you want people to be able to understand me? Like, I can it, understand you. I can't. I don't know if they, they can understand me. Like I don't know. Who the, can't understand what he's saying? Yeah. <laughs> we, we don't know what that I means. Just I like, just wanted to see it work. I, I've been gone a while. Did you notice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the I did. View is amazing. <laughs> You you don't see a four-leaf clover in front of you? (laughs) Should I point at it? (laughs) Oh, that's that's not nice. It's 2019. We can't be doing that. It just this is awful. You're an awful person. (laughs) I paid for his Uber. (laughs) Maybe that's why that happened. You know, he got to earn it. (laughs) Even though I did, I did tell him to do it as well. Just go in. Yeah. Backstage. <laughs> discussing Just, mic gags. Yeah. I hate him. I hate him so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm wearing a onesie and uh uh and I'm I'm Shop put his mic in a mug. And I'm drinking out of uh uh uh, what is it called? Brewmate brand drinkware. B R U with an umlaut M A T E. Hey, Brewmate God. is the drinkware for me. Guys, why is that a different type of drinkware? <laughs> because Brewmate keeps drinks at the perfect temperature. Whatever that is, <laughs> that's the one it does, which I suppose is like context aware. So, the first AI powered drinkware. Yeah, it, I guess I, I mean I guess I put some ice in it backstage and it's not melted yet. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like that they disguised it as a piece of wood. Yeah, it's like a little baby coconut. It does look very nice. All right. Well, there's not a lot to talk about. 
I did have an epiphany. I think if you wanted to run somebody against Trump just to to beat Trump, which I don't think is the right philosophy, I think we should vote our conscience and just l let him win, um, <laughs> and just focus on the Senate. I mean, I just don't know how you're gonna, you know, it's just we're, you know, the the we, and by we I mean every non Nazi, um, we're a divided people. <laughs> And, and we should be, you know, who's united? Nazis. It's easy. You just you just go like, oh, I love that uniform. It's fine. Like you don't have to, and you can, and they can be like, well, what, are you a gay Nazi? You could be like, yeah, and they're like, come on in, just pretend you're not gay. Like, like, and you can be like, okay, yeah, it's fine. Like, it's easy. That's that's what we're that's what we're fighting when we fight autocracy. We fight the whatever we perceive as the bad guys. So of course, is gonna the toughest times you're gonna be divided. You're not you're not gonna win the election. And I'm not gonna talk about politics for the next two years because it's gonna get real ugly with all this primary stuff. We're gonna be you're gonna friends are gonna be yelling at each other. It's gonna break my heart. I don't want. I, I, it's the worst. It's the worst thing. I kept out of it when we were you know, leading up to the thing with the Bernies and the Hillarys and stuff. I, I saw what? Well, I just I just I said nothing, you know. I just said nothing and. But one of those sides uh, was wrong. <laughs> I, I'm also, not, I'm there was a little, it. there was a little <laughs> bit of a shell shock the first time, right? You know, you were like, "Jesus, this is crazy." So you kind of had to talk about it. Whereas now you're like, "Oh, it's all fucked up still." Yeah. <laughs> but even yeah. I look. I mean, I'll talk all day. Once the like for the last two years, I was like, I was like, "Oh God, this is awful." Like to me, it's not even politics. It's just yeah. I was. What am I? What am I supposed to do in this show except share my life? And if I happen to be obsessed with fucking right. oh God, what am, what's happening? It's like, what, what do you want me to do? Pretend I'm interested in uh, frozen pizza for two years and be like, well, and it's just like I. The, the only people that 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 want that are. I'm not saying they're bad people, but it's like. I'm not even saying they're wrong because I don't want to listen to a year and a half of podcasts where I'm like so fucking bummed out and freaked out and what are we going to do? I don't want to listen to that. But t t tough titties. I, if the world is ending and I'm like, I'm like, oh, this is what I thought about today. I thought about the world ending. However, because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I have a lot of anxieties as I did during the last time. It was like, oh, primaries are gearing up. I was like, there's no way. I'm not touching it. I'm yeah. not touching this stuff because it's too sad because 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 you're talking about people that shouldn't beef with each other. It's like it's, uh, socialists and uh, and uh, and the like like what, what watered down like liberals sh shouldn't like they cannot like each other about where to go for breakfast. They shouldn't be like tearing each other's throats out while while the guys I perceive as the bad guys are like laughing all the way to the fucking victory line. But there's nothing we can do about it. You can't like demand that, that we unite because if you could demand that we unite, what are you? Probably a Nazi. Fascist. <laughs> like, I, like, it's like, 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 not on it. It's like, like, who has the power to do that? You know, like, they'd be like, oh, everybody, no matter what you think, lay your shit aside. And like, so anyways, but this is the one thing I'll say. This is an epiphany. Here's who you run against Donald Trump. If you're playing that game where you just want to like knock him out, like, oh, who are we going to run? Liam Neeson. Did it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, think about it. So you're going to like, you're going to knock his base in half. Old, old white guy. So then like, they're confused. And then he's racist, so they're like, I love it. And, but he's like, we, know, we only know he's racist because he was like honest about it. He was like, I used to be racist. I don't want to be. And then, so then some people are going to be like, well, that's kind of cooler than being secretly racist. Like, and then like, you would just like, you would shuffle all the, all the like groups, you know, but I think you'd come out on the other side. And he's, he's European, so you'd have to do like a reverse birther movement, like... But that's cool. Like, do that. Reverse birther. Hashtag reverse birther. You have to be poor, proven where you weren't born. Yeah. He yeah, could, yeah. He, he could be like, I'm not Irish. Do I sound Irish? Do I sound like a... Uh, <laughs> uh, and, then, and then he could go on The View and, and, and be like, yeah. I, I, it doesn't I, matter if yeah. I'm racist. Yeah. Like, like, it doesn't matter if I'm racist. And people still like him. They would be like, well, what do we like about... He could just be like, I don't care if you get an abortion. Go ahead. It doesn't matter if you get an abortion. I don't care if you get an abortion. <laughs> you used to do that. You used to. There was an old episode where you were doing like Liam Neeson, and you're like, it well, doesn't matter. Right, yeah. like, so minstrel that you're wearing that and doing yeah. Liam Neeson. <laughs> Like I saw Dan really, Harmon's podcast. That's <laughs> <you, laughs> not are, cool. Dan. The green get, face. The IRA is going to fuck you. Oh, uh, come on, IRA. Don't do that. Dan. 
Do you? <laughs> I know yeah, you have happen. opinions <laughs> about things, but do you think Spencer has enough cable for the show? <laughs> I mean, we we got like a couple of spools here. I got but I three thousand series. This is thirty meters of XLR cable. I don't think it's enough, man. I think you need <laughs> at least. Well, what's the run of this place? Like fifty let's, feet, let's, sixty feet? Let's walk it. You do okay. You could do that. I want to sit. Spencer and I accidentally both ordered wolf urine from Amazon. You today. know when you when you show up at work and you're both ordering wolf urine. Oh, yeah. Mine came. We should open it up and see if it has documentation, huh? Yeah, go get the Is Steve here, around? Let me go meet him backstage. Uh, I got a park. Also, there's a parking ticket in my jeans. I don't know who's supposed to take care of that. <laughs> Certainly not me. He's going to fuck up the show. I kind of I kind of get There's something like you can look forward to when you if you ever. Uh, like like a uh, uh, little privileged perk. Like you kind I kind of like. I get a little stoked when I get a I'm parking rich. ticket. Because I'm I'm like, what's that? What are you trying to do to me? Scare me? Like <laughs> take your fucking valet money. It pays for uh, kids' uh, t- uh, textbooks. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that money goes right over to someone in need. Fucking, fucking, fucking machine. I try to pay them within like uh, 20 minutes of getting them. I'll, I'll drive right to the motherfucker yeah. and be like, how's it going? Yeah, uh, hi, here. It bitch. does feel like they hate that, right? I, guess, that, I guess we're they the suckers because we're like, we're like so stoked about paying our parking tickets on time that we think we're like, in your face. And they're like, yeah. oh, no. But, but, I they, do, they but I, for sure, they want you to not pay it right away. Yeah. Like they, it's like a yeah. poor people trap. Like, man, I was poor once, you guys, and uh, it was fucking incredible how hard it was. Like, it was like, holy shit, man! You like a part? They designed the whole system. Don't get so mad that you like storm my house, but like, uh, I it, it, it is like I remember getting parking tickets and being like, okay, well, I have a lot to do today, and I have no assistant, let alone two. And uh, I don't have, and if I did, I don't have, they can't write a check. I, it'll bounce. And like, like you just, you're just stuck with this thing. I guess I'll pay this sooner or later. You put it in your apartment somewhere. You know, that shit's like fucking gone. Like, and they, they expect it to be, oh, what a That's bummer. why they put you on the 21 days. Yeah. Do you guys know about, there's this Terry Pratchett quote about this. I have it. <laughs> the reason the rich were so rich was because they spent less money. Take boots, for example. Vimes earn $38 a month plus allowances. A really good pair of leather boots cost $50. But an affordable pair of boots, which were sort of okay for a season or two and leaked like hell when the car- cardboard came out, uh, cost about $10. Those were the bi- boots he bought and those and wore until the soles were so thin that he could tell where he was and ink more pork on a foggy night. But the thing is that good boots lasted for years and years. A man who could afford $50 had a pair of boots that would be keeping his feet dry in 10 years' time, while the poor man who could only afford cheap boots would have spent $100 on boots in the same time and would still have wet feet. Yeah, I mean... I can, I can upgrade twice. that in a much simpler way. Like, we live in Los Angeles where literally everyone over a certain income gets free shoes. <laughs> like, if you, <laughs> if you work in the industry, like, at some point you go over to, like, the Nike place and what the, they give you a duffel bag and you walk around and, like, you fill, fill your bag with Nike shit. <laughs> I've never or done AirPods. it. I've never done it because I fucking care about you. <laughs> <laughs> they never invited me. They never invited me. But I remember we, we, when we first moved here from Milwaukee, they called it the free free shoes for rich people program. That's what they, that's what they call it glibly. What was it called? Free shoes for rich people program. Why am I repeating my show for you? <laughs> like like I can't expect you to pay attention. What are you doing back there? You playing Minesweeper? <laughs> No, oh, don't no. touch my ass. <laughs> Come on. You know, five think, years from now, we're people. The, the people are gonna know that that's not cool. Like it's <laughs> funny now because we're both dudes or whatever. And but, but five years from now, it's gonna be like fucking. We we were gonna have fixed everything but that shit, and you're gonna be rounded up, taken into the street, and fucking <laughs> Weinstein. <laughs> Boom. I don't. And I'm gonna laugh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write so many brave blogs about what it was like to fucking stand here and <laughs> silently shudder. <sighs> that sounded like I was maybe parodying uh, 
uh, uh, we're good victims. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that wasn't my intention. I wasn't like, no, and then I'll do that. Like this bullshit people do. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. How, As an abuser, I gotta be with you. How is it? <laughs> What's up? Is it hot? Uh, you tell me, baby. Um, all right. That okay. that would be abuse. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me, oh, tell God. me if I'm sexual, Brandon, or you're fired. Oh, oh, oh what a beautiful man! Listen, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be three years before that's not cool. <laughs> And if I tell you why, two years from now, I'm going to be fired. Uh, but is it, is it keeping you warm? Is it's, it a, it's, uh, is I'm, is, I'm is digging it 100% it. cotton? It's, uh, no, it's, I think it's, I think it might be micromodal. Oh, yeah. Three times, feels about three times softer than cotton. Right. It's, it's breathing. It's not, it's not, I have a, I have a shirt under it. I, I'm in my unders, my regular me undies. I took my pants off. But uh, it's, I'm not getting overheated, no. You dropped your water bottle, sir. He got it. He's cool. Don't, don't harass him. He's done nothing <laughs> wrong. <laughs> what? No. Welcome to the show, sir. I'm very sorry. <sighs> Liam Neeson, you think it's a good idea? He's foreign. I can't. He's foreign. I don't, but just suspend your disbelief. Like, what? Uh, dude, we just found out uh, Trump's dad's from Germany. That's got to be unconstitutional. That's not illegal, yeah. That's yeah. illegal. Yeah. Uh, what will you spend your time on instead of how do you get away from the politics? Because it is fascinating. It is crazy it is, the amount did. of shit that you're not aware of. Like, I don't right. know. Like, I, the, the weird shit that you hear mentioned and you're like, what? Like, Pete like, like, Buttigieg? Say what? Like Pete Buttigieg? I, I've, I've heard, I got, I heard him mentioned by Dave Klein. said, like, have you heard about Pete Buttigieg? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Buttigieg? Probably he's not. A, he's, a, he's a gay uh, veteran, right? But a judge. But a judge, but a judge. Ma- mayor, That's mayor of funnier. a town in uh, Indiana, something like that. Uh-huh. He seems like a, a a cool person. I don't know. He I, seems like a centrist. What does that mean? What? Me- centrist? Yeah. What's that mean? It means equivocating to conservatives. Equivocated? Yeah, maybe that's the malapropism. It means like I'm sure. Yeah, malaprop? it's like, like that's what we're that's the heartbreak we're gonna go through. Oh, I love this guy, and the part of your brain's gonna be like, do I love him because it feels like he's got a shot, or do right. I love him because? Yeah, my I, here's what I'm gonna do is not my advice to anybody because I'm just gonna, like I'm gonna like I'm just gonna look quietly and be like, all right, I'm gonna vote for I'm gonna vote I'll vote for somebody as far as the presidential race. I'm just gonna pick somebody. I'm even if like even if I think they're gonna get like five thousand votes, like I, I'm just gonna be like, I'm voting my conscience. I guess I have to qualify that though, because even that's an inflammatory statement right now. Because you guys are like, "How do you know two years from now you're not?" Look, I guess okay. Well, I'll lick my finger, put it in the air. If it feels like it's a fucking intense, if there's somebody that's been picked, I'll do what I always do. I'll I'll go up to that one big boulder. You know, I I you know full disclosure. I I I I I, I was. I was doing the Bernie thing until the very moment that the system that were that's supposed to work, you know, said, no, he's done now. And then I pulled the lever for Hillary and it was like, this is all part of, honestly, it was just me voting for like, I don't think this guy's a good idea. I could see that going bad. I don't want to have to like serve hemlock tea to ice agents and stuff. But, uh, <laughs> It, 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 you know, because you know I'm going to be first. Like you know, they round up. And so I know you're going like, oh, Dan. What are you saying? You're an intellectual. Is that what you're saying? Like, like, uh, it was like, yeah. Compared to, like, it's a, you know, there's a curve here. It's like if the emperor can't read, then like I qualify as like an academic. I'm going to be shot before they pick a group to scapegoat. True. Like they grab the guys like me first. They grab the hippies and True. the teachers and the scientists. They grab and, the hippies first, then you. So I'm already done, so I'm not trying to do nothing but just, like, preserve my life. Like, but the question is, what else are you doing? Like, do you have a... I bought uh, a gun. No, no, no. Uh. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I mean, uh, other than now... Oh, that oh, you, oh. I'm yeah, composing spend, a lot of music. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It makes me very happy. Yeah. Will Posing. you take lessons, do you think? Or do you need uh, to? I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, okay. You know, I'm not going to rule anything do out. You, do you teach lessons? Because I've got some spare time coming up. <laughs> do you want to learn to play an instrument? Or I'd do you like, just want lessons? I just want, I just want lessons. <laughs> I definitely would say that my ice would be melted by now if okay. I wasn't drinking out of a bloom house. What's it called? Brewmate. Brewmate. B-R-U-M-A-T-E. B-R-U with Use the promo code Harmontown. Brew house. Brewmate. 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 It's like your buddy. Yeah. It's it sounds like the name of a product that has to do with brooms. 
Oh, it was your broom hungry? No, my broom ate. My <laughs> Keep your broom ate. <laughs> For all you dads. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to do spoilers, but like uh, I am working on this thing on the side. I don't, I'm not going to have it on my phone. It would be on my iPad, but... The community movie. But there's this kid. <laughs> Did I play this last time? Maybe I didn't. I can't remember. No. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, uh, uh, I forgot. There's, there's such no a, such there's a board. very no, no. little no. signal in here, so... No, Sorry. you didn't. Well, something. this guy, this, this, this musician dude, uh, he... Remember that song I played? I think I talked about this. The the song that I played, where and then at the end of it, I was like, "All my baby ducks." Yes. Like he, there's this guy that he made. Uh, he did lyrics to it. He yeah. did a whole thing, and he played a little acoustic guitar. And I didn't want to spoil it. I was gonna surprise him by sending him a thing, or like where where like because I took his lyrics track into the software that I'm using to. And I was just like saying, oh, can I put, can I just put his stuff on top of my stuff and like add to it and stuff? It was actually a lot more challenging because uh, the, you know, tempos are always different and stuff. It's, it's, it's kind of a big deal. It's challenging. Yeah. Trying to do that with the Mike Cravello theme song. And it's, it's, it's like I try to drag the Mike Cravello theme song into, into, into an editor. I was like, oh, I'll just figure out what tempo it is and then I can lay shit on top of it. I could do like a cool Mike Cravello rap or something, but. It's really hard because you can't really get rid of his guitar, right? You can't scrub his guitar. The the baby ducks guy. Yeah, yeah, that is a challenge. His guitar is in there, and he's like he's kind of changing tempo and stuff like that. But I I, I, I I did a pretty good job. I can't I can't play that now. Whatever. But yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I'm playing. I'm doing music. What what is it? What what's wrong? What can we do for you? Like, how can the show be made better for the show ruiner? If you're at home right now, Shrav's mouth is wide open. Talking about the thing, and then you're like, "I'm not gonna play it now." You talk I, about I it, you to... get us all titillated, and then you're not gonna. Uh, oh, shit. we are oh, pretty shit. titillated. Sounds great. Damn it! Oh. oh shit! Hold on, buddy. Hold on. I'm almost there. We're coming. His username is Long Sock Silver. <laughs> mm. That's uh, apparently he was going for a reference that, that a couple people got. I don't know what it is. Wait, Instead of John's. Oh. God damn it. No, I'm not going to do this to you, buddy. I'm going to start it on, uh, the, like, I'm sorry. But... He deserves better. I am a mama duck out on a lake. I need my babies to be safe. One day we'll get out of here, spread out our wings and fly home. Till then we'll stand in line, waddle across the land. All my baby ducks are in a fucking row. All my baby ducks. All my baby ducks. All my baby ducks are in a fucking row. All my baby ducks. All my baby ducks. Yeah, there he is. Long cock silver. Long, long sock silver. Long cock silver is a different, different guy entirely, but I recommend following him on Instagram as well. Looks like he's in, where is he? Hmm. What did I see, like a geotag here somewhere? Well, who cares? You can type him who in. Who cares? Find it out. Oh, there's, there he is in New York. He must be somewhat of a successful musician. He's like traveling around. Traveling. I wonder what his real name is. There he is in Brooklyn. Oh, do you think a New York guy thinks I'm cool enough to do my song? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of in the Brooklyn area here. All right. He's in all because five boroughs. My music is like kind of fucking legit. Though. Yeah, dude. Right now there's like 13 old black dudes in Memphis doing My Baby Duck. Shut up. Yeah. You talked to them? I was going to tell you. Yeah. Uh, it's Brandon, don't it's keep this from me. There's like a harmonica version. Ah! And then, yeah. And then CeeLo gets on one. It's really weird. C yeah. Note? CeeLo. 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 Yeah. Oh, fucking CeeLo. God, I love him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh oh. You and get him go way back. You love the Dungeon Family. Yeah, love the love the Dungeon Family. <laughs> you love Outcast. I love Outcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he loves it. Hey ya! Uh, Remember that fucking hey ya? Uh, See, we danced that entire summer to that song wherever it uh, played. Yeah. 
Jeff hates that song, man. Yeah, because we played he it hates a, a million song? times. <laughs> yeah. We, we uh, ran in this pack, Dan and I, of about 14 people at its largest. <laughs> and that summer, we, uh, we would dance to that song until like 8 in the morning, almost. We would go back to either our friend Jerry Miner's house or your house. And we'd fucking... Uh, you've never seen so many old people in their own private bar. <laughs> it's like, it was like Parrot Heads, but for that goddamn song. Parrot yeah. Head? Good times, man. Jimmy Buffett fans. Those are good times. I, um, uh, I had a pitch at Netflix today, and I was so grateful that they moved their uh, place. <sighs> Amazon, still hanging out in Santa Monica. Amazon. The people that invented everyone staying in their house forever <laughs> are the remaining production office that you have to drive eight hours to get to. They are uh, uh, Los Angeles's practice pitch. Now, Jesus. eight is an exaggeration, but six is absolutely not. <laughs> Depending on what time of day you're leaving, I mean, and usually your pitch at Amazon is either at 9.30 a.m., which right. means you have to leave at 4, uh, it's or, or it's at 4.30, which means you're getting home at 9 p.m. Right. Yeah. On a Friday. Uh, uh, these guys, I mean, they're, they're just like, look, we're selling spatulas, we're making TV, <laughs> we do whatever we want, like, like, uh, uh, come to us, baby, and like, all right, so I had this idea, this robot maybe meets a fire hydrant, <laughs> Uh, and they're just like, it's they're they're God love them, but they're just like it's the practice pitch, man. It's like there's nothing. I don't. There's people that sell shows to Amazon, I guess. I don't know what they do. Maybe they maybe they, maybe they get the noon spot. <laughs> <laughs> so you leave at 10 a.m. You get there at noon, and then they're like they 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 pop an Adderall like 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 halfway through the drive, yeah. And then they just fucking peek in there, and they're like, robot fire hydrant, buy it. <laughs> Wow, that sounds like it sucks. Wow, that sounds really bad. That sounds like a really bad situation that you're going through. That's awful. That's so that's so that's so bad. That's terrible. Just move your offices to Amazon, like or send one of your drones over to yeah. to hear my pitch. Yeah. Like I'm never gonna have a show on Amazon. Come on. Never. We don't know that yet. Do I look like an Amazon guy? Come on, we all know the Amazon brand. They have a completely different onesie. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. That was very kind of you, audience. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever sit down tonight? I don't know, man. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I, I'm not usually this kind of guy, but whatever upsets you. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, honestly, like, I could kind of tell. Like, I, I was sort of thinking in my head. I'm laying my cards on the table because I'm an honest person. Like, I was like, oh, Shrab fucking... Uh, he sat behind me because he thought that would be annoying. No, and I'm like, I what? Said, I'm just going to stand here all night so that he's fucking upstaged <laughs> and it's going to drive him nuts. Yeah. Because he, if he switches chairs, he's admitting he wants to be looked at, which will be the biggest fucking weakness. That's his kryptonite <laughs> is, 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 is admitting he wants people to like him. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Sure, I've been yeah, that is a weakness. Yeah, well, just say it. I want people to like me. I, I like people to like me. Do you me want me too. to like you? Sure, now yeah. Quit fucking around. <laughs> what are you fucking around all the well, time what for? What am I doing here? I'm sitting here. You're playing on your phone the whole ride over. <laughs> You're complaining. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the, the Uber it's two miles away. I'm waiting outside, catching a death. You're so basically what we have is you are the Amazon offices. <laughs> And you are Dan Harmon at three o'clock on a Friday. Yeah. All right, I'll move. Oh, I'll move from Santa Monica to Burbank for you. I just want to point out that uh, I think that Schraub sat here because that was the special chair. Yeah. Is that, is that the wolf you're in? Oh yeah. This baby's got some amount of ounces. So you know, you, I, 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 if I had foresight, I would have put the wolf urine in the uh, brew mate. And it, see if it stayed at wolf urine It warms it up to like piping hot for like a <laughs> drug test. Do you think it needs to be hot to work? Do you think, wolf Brandon, pee. do you think they just, to make all that, they, it's they, so they, dark. they have like a bunch of uh, wolves oh go cross country? It's like Coke. This, 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 I, I think this wolf works in sales. Like, uh, 
They refuse to pull a lot over. of coffee. <laughs> We're having our own. Yeah, podcast. what's going on over here? I Sorry, don't know. guys. Talking Maybe. about wolf pee. It's like, 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 what? That's not interesting enough. That's clearly the best substance on stage. We were talking about it, but you we know. were talking about how they get it. Oh yeah, I was wondering that too. That is, they that must is. jerk them off. <laughs> <laughs> In exchange for pee later, right? <laughs> like, like, like they're like they're like oh and the wolf's like the wolf's like, like you want to do what like, 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 like they put a cup in the in the in the in the room with the wolf they come back piss all over the floor <laughs> they slowly over twenty years they figured it out like. The, 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 the wolf is training them. They go, they they leave like a, a, a cat fancy magazine. I don't know what wolves jerk off to. Uh, the wolf the wolf gradually like starts filling the cup in response to increasingly sexual behavior. <laughs> <laughs> then you're home free. Uh, I don't know, Michael. Well, how come Michael always gets more wolf pee in the cup? Uh, uh, oh, he's wearing those short shorts. <laughs> Some, I know, I know. I love, um, you guys were worried. You're like, is the wolf gay? Because then I can't laugh at it. You're right. No, it's a straight wolf. It's what just are Michael's you? Uh, hot. I know that it seems like Grow we should up. all know, but why do you have wolf pee? I have wolf pee because I have a coyote problem. So it right. seems like a like a weird joke is going to happen here because it's like, is this going to attract wolves? And like, do you eventually need? I mean, I know they sell bear pee. It was weird. Like, they they every kind of animal out there has pee for sale. Uh, obviously, humans are selling the pee. I don't mean yeah. that wolf, wolves are getting this is exploitative, but yeah. But, how do we know it's wolf pee? I, of course, we don't know. Of course. But, but here's what I want to know: how, what, what, what is human pee? Chopped liver? Like what? If in a world where like, oh, the, the coyote's gonna go like, you smell that? A wolf took a pee here. Run for the hills! What? The, you're in my backyard. I invented bulldozers. What the fuck? <laughs> Well, fucking, like, fear my wrath. I'm, like, destroying the planet with my pee. Like, fucking <laughs> run, baby. But you, well, said, you should be like, it smells like an alphabet. It might work. I was, have I tried it? We I, gotta, well, yes, I have, because I'm, I'm an alcoholic. There's a lot of my yeah. pee in my backyard. Can we smell that shit? If anything, it's attracting them. They probably think it. I'm a coyote. Can we open it and smell it? I don't want to. Well, we you do guys might, but I don't want to. And certainly, let's not lose any of it. Okay. Y'all about to watch a nigga go crazy. <laughs> Two years you got left to say that word. Uh, nope. No. I can say it and as much as I want. if I tell you why I you get longer. <laughs> Sniff. It's... Sm- it- is that it's, a, it's, uh, th- that's interesting. That was a genuine reaction, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, it really was. Could it you, was a very you, I strong, ar- I would say was, an arch reaction. It was a strong reaction, but did you notice it wasn't like immediate na- nausea? Like, it wasn't like, Bleh! it was like, it was just incredibly strong. Gerbils. Okay. It, 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 yeah, okay. It smells, it smells a little like bit gerb- like a hamster cage, like gerbils. wood shavings or something. It smells like gerbils. Oh, is it? You can smell it over there. Ah, ha, ha. Well, don't play so that up. Like, you, you know, uh, we're, 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 you know, people will start going, oh, good, we get to complain about something. <laughs> you know, it's, they love there's that. so many millennials it in this like roofing uh, theater. Tar like, and you'll, you'll cause a stampede. I like it. Does it say it repels millennials? <laughs> I, 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 we don't need to do that. Look at all these empty seats. We, we need, what, what, what attracts them? We need, like, Pokemon pee. Oh, incense. Jobs. We need to move the show to Sunday Jobs. nights. Jobs. <laughs> Jobs. Jobs. Yeah. The smell. Job pee. <laughs> Property. Genius bar uh, availability pee. Uh, uh, do, oh, do, do, like do you guys, we, t- we took a survey. Some of you may have taken it. And the data seems to suggest, agree or disagree, maybe with your applause if you feel moved to. Do you? Uh, but although this is going to be skewed because exactly. you're here. <laughs> yeah. But like, I, I, like, like who, 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 would you prefer if we moved to Sunday night, like the, the, the tapings? This right. Oh, this is Cause, silence because these the, are the people here. Okay, this is smash. It's just two nuns and a priest clapping right okay. now. Okay, <laughs> so we found the people that love it that it's on Monday. The night? Monday crew. Okay. Well, you guys seem nice. Uh, I'm not. I don't. I don't care. I don't need to sell out a show about me talking about Wolfby. Uh, but we were. We were. We were looking at the data that we took. We took a survey. Maybe it was among just fans in general or something. Um, because there was. There seemed to be kind of a. A, uh, a suggestion from the data that that uh, people would be thrilled if we moved to Sunday nights, but I don't know who 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 you guys polled. Was it uh, listeners or was it attendees? I d- I, 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 yeah. don't, I don't know. The methodology is in question. The Wolf P label is very DIY, very Etsy. Um, <laughs> 
it says There's impact font going it's a, it's a, yeah, it yeah it was almost like a comic sans serif uh, under the logo that said <laughs> the logo is, it says wolf p in impact font 100 percent wolf urine in impact font beneath that territorial marking scent in like aerial bold uh, in red, and then there's a photo of a wolf, but then there's a pretty impressive logo of a silhouette of a wolf in mid howl, and it says like in really proud, confident letters at a fucking striking, rackish angle, original <laughs> since 1986. <laughs> 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 that Miami too. Vice theme. Yeah, it's this, uh, this pee's got cocaine in it, man. <laughs> And then it says under that in like a very comic sans serif font, creates the illusion that a wolf is nearby. <laughs> creates the illusion. Oh, yeah. PredatorP.com, a tradition of quality. Bad a tradition of quality choice. urine. Bad, 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 bad title. No. That's not a good title. Predator P. Honey, uh, you got your... Package from <laughs> Predator P. Oh, uh, the label was very discreet. I was, I was, I was happy to see that. With a name like Predator P, you better be discreet. I wanna, yeah. Or you're gonna get some eyeballs. I'm gonna be really impressed if there's an ice cube in here. Oh yeah, that's impressive. I thought you Good meant job, the pee. Brew house, brew, brewmate, brewmate. How brewmate much P do you need to convince a coyote? <laughs> More than this. That I don't there's know. a wolf in your backyard. I don't know. We opened the bottle and 50 people almost like left Exploded. and they're not even coyotes. Uh, a tradition of quality 50. urine since 1986. I just wanted to read that. Okay. 25. Directions for Predator P liquid. To create a P rimeter. No. 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 Really? You motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of them. You're proud of them. Uh, yeah, they're like the Bartles and James of, of pee. Like, I don't know. They're just like, they're like, look, we sell wolf pee. Like, we're not going to be refuseniks, you know? We're not going to, like, call ourselves, like, mm, industrial uh, scent uh, harvest. Solutions. You know? Like, Is that just what like, Bartles and James We're the biggest James pee people does? in the business. You need pee? We got pee. We're fucking, here's a set up a pee perimeter. Have fun with pee. It's like, like make pee part of your world. Like, like, like <laughs> pee, pee, pee used to be the, the state of the art, you know, before lasers and fucking things. And guess what? Coyotes don't care about your lasers. They probably would if you sh shot them with one. Speaking of which, okay, so I bought this, and I also bought a slingshot. But I'm not going to aim for the coyotes. Uh, I, uh, I just got, but I got like a laser-guided slingshot. <laughs> It's crazy. The illustration on the Amazon thing I sent to Kumail, uh, he probably was offended, but because uh, the guy kind of looked like Kumail. Like, like, Hilarious. It was like, uh, Hilarious. Because he had his head down. It's like the other photos, it's like, ah, oh, he's just like some doofy Italian guy, but he had his head at the right angle. He just like really looked. I was like, Kumail, this is, I think this endorsement. Do you is, uh, text him a lot? Just when I, just when I want to offend what, him. Uh, what are you going to hit with that slingshot? Uh, I'm just gonna, I just got, I'm just gonna, I just wanna, cause here's the thing. Okay, the coyotes. This is how you know it's fucked up. It's cause you, what? you, you already trying to back away. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm I'm, gonna I'm, 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 it's I an alternative this. to throwing rocks. I'm 46. Like, I, here's what happened to me la, la, uh, two nights ago. Okay. This is why I ordered the slingshot. I, these things, you know, uh, I'm just protecting my babies. I'm not gonna do anything violent to another animal, but like, I can't, uh, as, Asimov's laws, like, I can't by inaction allow violence to happen to my, my, my animals. So, like, uh, the coyotes started coming around, probably refugees from the fire. Nobody's fault. I got video of one of them because they came out in the day. Beautiful creature. I expected them to look more like crazy, like mangy, like really. Resident Evil zombie dogs, the way they sound, but uh, they look kind of like. Yeah, they're just they, they have like deer pelt yeah. kind of things. They're like rabbit, like they're kind of like beautiful camouflage, like with these big pointy ears and like a big just, fox. Yeah, and they're all they're all genetically compatible with wolves and dogs and stuff. The whole genus is like just a big free for all. I guess the I guess probably all genuses are. I mean, we're in the Homo genus. It's just that we fucking genocided all the other. <laughs> We had coyotes and wolves to our sapiens at one point, and we just fucking scrubbed them out. We were like, you guys want to go to a rave? And the Neanderthals were like, what's that? And we're like, fuck you, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> fucking no-tweeting fucking so, caveman ass. 
So glad we stopped you, doing that to other cultures. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you doing, Neanderthal? Oh, I'm making a dream catcher to bury with my m- lifelong mate because I love her and believe in an afterlife. Fuck you. I can't hear you over the sound of me killing you. <laughs> That's what happened. We were the killing ones. Yeah, happy? <laughs> You woke now? You're Hitler babies by proxy going back 5,000 millennia. <laughs> Don't look it up. Uh, to create a perimeter, saturate scent tags. Oh, great. So hidden costs. I didn't order any scent tags. Oh, boy. Or got- fill a... Th- or fill 33-day dispensers. These p- fucking pea barons. <laughs> pea barons. What? Wait a minute. And hang every I think I know what feet. the pea dispenser is. A, wolf. a hard dick. <laughs> oh, I mean, close. come on. It's a Give wolf. me a break. You got to buy a wolf. They're going to go get a dispenser, uh, order yeah. it. It's a, yeah, exactly. It's a bucket with a hole in it. So then you go, oh, you, do no, you need a, a refill? Dick. Of- it's a dick. It's what? a dick. They can't it's sell a dick. They can't sell a dick. It's a dick. I was right. It was Maybe, a dick. Uh, it's what, a what bucket just, with a hole in it. What does what, your what, dick look like? All right. Well, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. I, I, you well, know, no, I, no, no. Why not just add like one of those fucking spray bottle tops to it? There is that. Okay. Jesus. Predator P yard Jesus. cover is designed oh, to make it easy to See? spread Predator P for applications on lawns, flower beds, gardens, and other areas where creating a perimeter would be difficult uh, or impractical. Um, jar yeah, but, uh, for pet training. Saturate a 10 square foot diameter area to help you direct pets to the areas of your yard that you designate as pet restrooms. So make those smell like wolf pee. Make the pet restrooms smell like wolf That's pee? That's what it said, right? I don't, it doesn't say. It says... Make your dogs love wolf pee. I, no, it says... Uh, it, what it says is saturate a 10 square foot diameter area... <laughs> Oh, so that's the perimeter. Well, well I don't know. Diam- I don't know. So a square diameter is what they want. Oh, to yeah. To help you direct pets to the areas of your yard. So I think the areas of your yard are, are wolf pee free. Right, yeah. I think the, the dogs perimeter. are like, shit, there's a wolf. Shit, there's a wolf. Wolf's everywhere. Yeah. Right. Oh, I can pee here. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to do that to my dogs. My dogs know nah, they can pee wherever they I want. I think we just need to get that, 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 that wall area kind of peed up. That is real dark up. pee. Um, yeah, got a slingshot. Oh, because here's why. So don't. Uh, yeah, I'm not a maniac. I uh, uh, the, these things come around, and uh, the dogs freak out. They like want to go out there and talk to them and all this stuff. Like, right. Oh, okay. So it used to be like okay, going back like six weeks, three months maybe. Uh, like, oh, and they, they, they make this fucking racket. It's been getting more intense, like very aggressive coyote behavior happening. Uh, and uh, I go downstairs, turn the kitchen light on. They, they go quiet. So then, you know, a little after that, like, like two, two days a week later, turn the kitchen light on. Nope, that's not going to work anymore. Go out the back door. Okay, now they shut up. And so on and so forth from there, like leading to me with a fucking like stick going like, shut up! And uh, and then the most humiliating, this is why I bought a weapon now from Amazon is because I'm not, I'm, I, I'm like, dude, like this is really humiliating. Like me standing on a ladder like, like, shaking a stick at them and going, shut up! And them going like, yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> I, I, like, I felt, like, I already have a small penis. It shrank, like, into my abdomen. Like, my penis is in one of my nipples now. Like, like I got cucked out by some fucking monster dogs. And you think that this slingshot, you will... Uh... Well, because I went, so I was like, okay, I'm going to throw rocks. So here's an incredible thing. There's no rocks. Like I, I was, right. did they did they phase those out? Like I was like when I was ten years old, it seemed like there were rocks everywhere. You Big rocks are inimical. Is that a word? What does that mean? Sure. Bad yeah. for society. It was. I looked all over. I couldn't believe how hard it was them. to find a rock. I felt. Is, is that progress or is that? Uh, you should, bad? I think they're phasing them out because you could do. You could hit someone with them and stuff. They don't want people just like to be able to break into someone's car with just a piece of the environment. <laughs> I believe Schraub is proposing to you. You should use That's ice. what I did. 
I went to my ice maker. I got a bucket of ice. I threw ice at them. After, after about five minutes of throwing ice, they stopped. I'm pretty sure because they were like, thank you. That's better. I was dehydrated. <laughs> so you're, you're hitting them with ice? You're, I'm not you're... hitting them. You think I'm like well, man enough to hit a coyote in I don't the dark know, with ice? I don't know where you are or where they are in the situation. Exactly. So. Well, what I'm doing, I'm in my backyard. And, um, oh, it's like d and I'm in my backyard. I'm facing the back wall, the mm-hmm. north wall in my backyard. I'm standing on a bar stool. And uh, so I'm eye level with the with the ground right. uh, uh, thing, and I can hear them in the pitch black. But in that yard, right? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. Uh, and, and and so I just, just I'm just whipping handfuls of ice cubes in that direction. I figure you know, and and I just and they just kept kept yipping, and then after a while they stopped. I truly believe they were like, "This is delicious." So they're turning you basically into a person who is reaching out to a company that makes devices that are rudimentary to attack them. Yeah, it's true. Like, I'm meeting them on like their level. Like Acme. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am not the roadrunner in yeah. this situation, for sure, yeah. That's funny, you have yeah. Really, you have really gone to their level at this point. <laughs> and in I order... am truly acting as a fucking fictional coyote. That is a really, a really profound insight. I'm, like, ordering from fucking Amazon. It's the Acme. That's incredible. I, and it's, like, these crazy, like, three-strapped, like, cra- like laser-guided things. It's insane. It's tro- it's, it's, it's 100% like parallel. I cannot wait to see the rocket that you build. <laughs> yeah. With skates. I'm getting like floodlights. <laughs> I'm going to put traps back there and be like, they're not working and jumping up and down on them. <laughs> I did think at a, at a certain point, I was thinking as I was throwing the ice, I was like, oh, now they're, maybe they're eating the ice and now they like me. And then I thought, well, if they could shut the fuck up and never eat my dogs, I will say, you know, maybe they're eating like raccoons, skunks. Yeah. Uh, Fruit. People who, who keep outdoor uh, cats. It, like, I don't. I don't. I love Large the cats. Bugs. Therefore, I want their owners to suffer for making them outdoor cats, uh, so that in the long term, people will love their cats enough to keep them indoors. But uh, so you know, it's it's complicated. I'm like that guy in The Watchmen who was like, mm, let's let's start a nuclear war. Yeah, so that we'll have world peace. Osmandius. I'm like, I hope all their cats get eaten so they learn to, to be nice to cats. What what what's happening? What are you talking about? I'm just listening to you talk, man. Just listening. I don't like this at all. <laughs> this makes me uncomfortable. Still ice in this thing. That's crazy, huh? Mm-hmm. That's I've just been a drinking testament. out of it a long time. It, yeah, it's a, it's a quality yeah, it's product. A, it's a doozy because it's a hard one to win. But I don't think I, I don't think uh, I don't think the slingshot is your boy. If the coyotes come that, into the yard, maybe yeah. the slingshot. But I just I think that the their the coyotes MO is usually to lure they do the yipping thing to kind of lure dogs out and then they kind of like nip them up mm-hmm. or whatever. But yeah, I, yeah, I know. But, no, I'm but not I'm not judging. Sorry. I no, I do think well the worst case scenario is the one where it's like it's is is zero sum game an appropriate phrase here. It's like the day that one of those fuckers does tumble into the yard, right? It's like it, 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 it's going to be an extreme situation. Yeah. I don't think a slingshot is the tool for that either. Like at that point, I don't know what to do. But Cage, uh, a slingshot's fine. That's good. But let's... but but it's. I'm looking at that as the reason why I want them to like scoot back right. a little bit yeah, because no, I feel like sure. they're. It, it's just like maybe like a a pup of theirs that's going to be like hunger uh, dazed or something's going to like fall into the backyard. It could it could be a mess, you know. Yeah, the like, problem is that that neighbor's yard is just Coyote HQ. Yeah. Um, yeah we, we, why yeah. Is, is that? Is there any update because on uh, that? Like uh, looking into that? <laughs> uh, we we have their phone number. We're gonna actually just go up, but we don't think they live there necessarily. Yeah. So um, it's there. They had the pug or bulldog that would fall into a, yeah, my yard, I and it, like I, 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 that thing's got. If that thing's alive, it's Rambo. Right. <laughs> Because it just walks around back there where there's nothing but coyotes. That would be amazing to see it, like like to walk back there and find it, like hiding, like like, like <laughs> um, just breathing through a bamboo blood. shoot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you uh, di- didn't you you listen to? Uh, I told Spencer like I'm really interested in your take on the guy I call Asperger Detective. Right. Uh, and, and I call him that as a handle. I. I felt today inclined to iterate that, like, uh, iterate, that means say. Um, I felt inclined to just say, you know, 
I say, I call him Asperger detective because I kind of feel I wouldn't do it if I thought that that would offend him. Like if somebody if somebody was doing a podcast and it sounded like they had a hair lip and they never mentioned their hair lip, I wouldn't be like hair lip hair lip guy. I mean maybe with Cody or something. Go, you want to listen to hair lip guy? But like it, you know, I think that the guy is could like based on his comments and stuff. I feel like whether he has Aspergers or not, he'd be like that, that's kind of cool. Like he'd be like punk yeah. rock about it. But is that the so you know it's just so I just wanted to say that I don't you know I'm not, it's it's hard these days. I don't want to I don't want to be hurtful to any real people. I just want to. I just want people to leave me alone. Give me money. Um, I don't even. I don't need you to come here. I don't need to keep doing this show. I just. It's kind of moment, all momentum at this point. Just kind of drifting. You know. Um, very happy. Just want to steal. Take take my money. I didn't mean to say steal. Um, it's totally kind of earned. It. I've earned every penny. <laughs> uh, my job's very hard. I take it. Buy a big house. Disappear into the West Wing. And uh, and you'll you'll hear like just the sound of a man eating a chocolate sundae. <laughs> that, that'll be my equivalent of a single gunshot. Just like, <laughs> That's the just same be thing. A, a week of chocolate sundae eating. It's the same thing the, Stan Lee said. <laughs> we did? And then he died over a Spider-Man comic. What? Wait, shut up. Wait, he died on top of one? Yeah. What, do you, what did he say before that? What did he say? I just so want to do this for like 10 more years. Well, he... It's like 97. You say when he was 87, he was like, I just want to do this for 10 more years. And so you're like, oh, man, that's how you die. <laughs> no. That's, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the curse of the Golden Girls, like onion <laughs> headline. Uh, What's the curse of the Golden Girls? You could probably put it together, right? No. I'm asking a question. Why would I ask the question if I didn't know? Steve Steve what? what? I could put yeah. it together. I the no. un, there was an onion headline. It was like Kurt, I, I can't remember the the content. It was like the, the um, you know uh, uh, someone dies and it, 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 uh, continuing a curse of the cast of Golden Girls. The, the, the joke is uh, they they were at an age where it would be fully appropriate statistically for them to be dying at the rate that they were. Ha ha! All right, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I like that. Oh okay. So you were asking you were asking Spencer what he thought. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, what's your take? You said you listened to 13 episodes of this guy. Yeah, I've been listening to him. I don't know if he's... Uh, he might be... Uh, he. Oh, so, okay. The, <laughs> the, the show is the guy like <laughs> writes an essay, essentially, and then he just reads the essay on, on the podcast because it's like it's not like... There's not room for his just personal musings. It's all just straight like a script that he's wrote. But to the extent that it's like an essay, he like always has some sort of thesis statement or theme that he's like weaving through yeah. it, which is, it, it, I, I don't know, sometimes it sounds like the most stupid, pretentious shit, like, uh, I, or sometimes he focuses on stuff. Like there's the one where he was focusing on like, I don't know, there's the guy whose wife fell down the stairs or he killed her or whatever. And then like the 911 calls, like uh, she fell down the stairs stairs and the lady's like how many stairs and he was like what <laughs> and then um and then he was like why did he say what it's obvious he was reason. hiding the truth and it's like well that's right. a stupid question it doesn't matter how many fucking stairs someone fell down i would be like what the fuck are you talking yeah. about um so i don't know uh, a lot Wait, of let me count yeah it's like that's not that's not helpful it is though because you want to know should you send some cops or an ambulance or a ladder I mean, both why don't you sort it out <laughs> afterwards i my my wife's dead or dying. Kind of like, like, he'll do, he'll do kind of, I like when he does unsolved stuff and then he proposes a theory. Cause, w right. At, that stuff's at, really impressive. At his best, I like him because he reminds me of Agent Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks. Because Dale Cooper rolls into your town and you're like, we can't find out who killed Laura Palmer, right? So, and so you call the FBI when it's like, you, the resources are exhausted. And in uh, uh, David Lynch's universe, the FBI is equivalent to like a weird, like shamanic tier of civilization. But like Dale Cooper's like, he's, 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 learned how to like it's like it's just, if only for the sake of being lateral because nothing else is working it's like oh oh you know like he'll throw rocks at a tin can yeah like and if it, it it's sort of like it's almost like f flipping a coin or like Meditative. like asperger detective right. will do something like he's like in in 1985 uh uh, 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 uh john swanson uh, uh went into the woods and never came back uh, people have been talking about this for quite a while but the one thing that they can't figure out is whether or not his friend did it 
or whether or not it was murder. But here's the thing. I'd like to look at the case through the lens of parabolic Turing's law. And, and you're like, what? And well, is that like, or, 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 or he'll do, it's not always like nerdy. He'll be, he'll be like, he'll be like, the interesting thing is that him going off the path reminds me of The Breakfast Club. It was a movie by John Hughes. John Hughes made movies in 1982 through 1997. And all of his movies tended to involve disparate groups of people forced to get along together and learning things. And like, he goes in this, it goes in these like tears of like he'll he'll and then he'll, he'll like uh, these themes of like aviation or something and then every once in a while he'll just throw a fucking spark plug and and he because his episodes are three and a half hours long he never listens to them again or edits them so so every well, once his in a while, earlier episodes are pretty short and I listen at two x speed. <laughs> oh, I, I would. I mean, I don't know if I would. We, uh, this is this is him just like kind of throwing a shoe. <laughs> like <laughs> Co- Cody recorded this because we were like, "Whoa!" He, <laughs> the lack of technology will even be symbolized in their deaths by use of phone cord to create their bindings. <clears throat> so. If all of this crazy <laughs> stuff, just, this dude, this dude reached for leftover rice. Uh, yeah, and he came get, back to the microphone. You, 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 uh, like I don't know how much the mic picks up, but those there's just set up like a peel of half dry yeah. lips in yeah. there. Yeah. It's like, and I really again, this is one of those situations where like you know I don't I don't want I'm not I'm not punching down, punching sideways, punching up. I don't want to be punching like, which is why I then add. I feel I just hate this like feeling of like like him getting like w- you know receiving in the Second, wrong way yeah. that uh, we were talking and talking shit and I just want him to know that like I mean obvious it's like he's a part of our life we love him like he's like we keep listening and listening and listening I totally like I I see his haters and reviews and I can understand what they're saying but I'm like I hate them like they're haters and like I like. The guy, he's like so brazenly fucking like lateral. I also like really worry about him sometimes. Like he, he, did, I don't, did you hear one where he like started talking about like he went straight into like fucking numerology or something where he was like, no, I, was, I can't I, wait. I, I had to, I paused it with Cody. I'm like, wait, is he, is he rounding a bend? Because he usually will just go, um, so John Benet Ramsey was found in the train room. There have been three um, main functions of locomotion since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. Right. That, so I want to like look at essay. this from a perspective of transportation. But and, but he'll bring it back around to be like, we should look at this murder scene from the perspective of how much energy it takes to get from A to B. And consistently, the human race has a tendency to try to conserve as much energy. Right. This is a genetic imperative. If you expend more resources than you acquire by going where you're going, and then he'll work his way around. He's just what he's really saying is like no one that's looked at this crime scene has has necessarily found the fingerprint that says exactly what happened so why not just like spin around like a pinata game and kind of like stop and look at it from now this crazy perspective and if you look at the John Bonet Ramsey home crime scene maybe from this perspective of like transportation um, uh, then he'll come up with this theory of like oh uh, G- well, G- Gordon Ramsay not Gordon Ramsay who was it <laughs> yeah Gordon no, Ramsay no, it was it was I think was. Gordon Ramsay did it yeah. he's the only member of the Ramsay she, clan that wasn't <laughs> present in the house yeah. she well, burnt uh, uh, she burnt one of the cakes in an easy bake <laughs> oven Every time I've seen Gordon Ramsay, he's become extremely intolerant when aspects of (laughs) when aspects of his environment are not up to snuff. He's a man who won't tolerate order or chaos. Chaos. Um, Gordon Ramsay, if he was in that house, would have killed John Benet Ramsay. It's a case that solves itself. Uh, but no. But but my point is like he will he will come back and he'll go and I'll go like God damn I think he I think he got it I think I, that is Some, like a yeah. fucking like really viable different take on the John Benet Ramsay thing. And, but then there was this one where it was like. It was like these, this family got murdered in a cabin, and it was like I was like maybe I'm not hearing him right, but I think he's like he's he's detached and he's like floating off like a balloon, like because he was like the cabin the cabin number was four eight six in 1986. Uh, uh, the, the 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 Steven Spielberg uh, came out with uh, something. I it was like it was like so he starts talking about the movies. I'm trying if I riff, then you guys will be like, oh, that's wrong. I'm gonna be riffing like I, I well I, when he really does is like there's a guy he's accusing of making up a fake murderer and he's like and who is that murderer's name romano romero it's it's rr which indicates he was trying to complete the cycle and give the person what they wanted right and it's like well 
Yeah. You just said that. Right. And this this one was like he went from like the date of the murders or the address to like or he went from the date of the murders to like the date of a movie release or like 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 back then how like taking airplanes somewhere was like a new thing cuz the murders hap okay the murders happened in like a cabin in the like 80s when Re, um, domestic like resorts that people would take vacations to. So he referenced the movie Vacation. He references the movie Dirty Dancing, which did not take place in the 80s, but uh, it was made in the 80s. But he references these movies that symbolize the fact that there was a trans, a trans, uh, 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 tra, 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 trans, uh, what the fuck am I, what's the, a I tendency? lost a word. What? A tendency. Uh, transition, uh, a transition in, uh, you lost that word. Yeah, I'm old and drunk and dying. Um, uh, you're gonna but lose your, your words too, <laughs> and you know what? The first word you're gonna lose is me. So fuck you in advance. You're gonna forget me, and you're gonna miss me, and you won't know why because you won't remember who I am. Whoa! It's good. It's called getting haunted. <laughs> Should have finished my business. I don't know what I'm saying. But I have no idea. One of the guys. The, <laughs> that's why I like this guy. The main. Like, the main thing is like his angle is about examining like the human human mind, human tendencies, and he's like so. I don't know, like he did serial and he did Adnan and he like analyzed while like all the, the murder really closely replicates his his oppressed lifestyle or something. Right. And so his angle is like, this all lines up from a human behavioral perspective. And, and a lot of these cases fall apart because you get hung up on the evidence. And really it's about matching whether or not like all the emotional mental states right. that people lines up with the crime because usually again, people know each other when they commit crimes yeah. of passion. And so that usually indicates some sort of pattern to be behavior playing out but and he so went it from the zeitgeist insane, but crazy like, but yeah good. i mean well, that's the thing is like that's what's fascinating to me is like the very fine line because like i remember when the internet first like kind of was blossoming and one of my most I, I i was particularly fascinated with um like with people who were uh forgive me but clearly schizophrenic like who at the you know sort of like the uh people would just have like websites you know there was no tumblr there was no like you know it was just sort of like some of the first people into the World Wide Web to like because it was like a place for like aberrant stuff uh, uh, and uh, like there was a lot of websites you would find that were just people going like this is this is my story like it was 1997 when I realized that Harrison Ford was like to like trying to read my mind and like their whole like story is like and they're very like hyper what do you call it hyper graphic I don't know if that's the correct term but like like they just like at a time when the internet was all just like text and it was like 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 they like like people with tragic mental illnesses like like watching them i'm not and you guys are like are you calling this guy mentally ill no but i'm saying like the the crazy the 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 interest fascinating thing to me has always been like what are these lines you know like what drop of chemical what spark that could jump from one little part of your circuit board to another makes the big difference between someone who's valued at nasa for figuring out like how uh, like that a rocket should do this and then some poor kid that like when they're 20 years old they just realize their shoes are hot dogs and they just get expunged from society and they're homeless under a bridge because we don't respect like mental illness as as regular illness and like um uh, and and like like so when i'm listening to asperger detective and he like he Every once in a while, like kind of, he goes. He went from like a date in his cabin, so he had the, like the zeitgeist of air travel within like the cult, American culture of like how resorts were closing down because people were now uh, air airlines were affordable, so people were going to Europe more. So there were places in America where cabins became like cheaper, and like the the clientele became more impoverished, and so they got more run down, and so prices kept going down, and basically. Like he was making the case that like he's like there's these places that used to be fancy that became like like uh, the hotel in The Shining, but for regular customers who are just like these freaking thugs or whatever. I have no idea if he's like if that's based on any accurate data, but he was like that was his kind of zeitgeist or this is that's this, one of these places where this murder took place. So he's like he's already got like this airplane thing going on in his head, and then it's like. So then it was like the murders happening on this date. And then he's like, interestingly enough, that was the date of like, I don't know, Back to the Future's release or something. And it was like, Back to the Future is about Marty McFly, part of a younger generation who takes a car that's capable of flying, who that, that takes like, the car couldn't fly in the first one. Um, but, but, uh, he, and then he, but the crazy one about that one is that he come, he, 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 instead of coming back down, he just floats and then he goes like, uh, 
and, and, and the, the, the sequel to this movie or that movie happened at this time, and, and the, 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 what that got at the box office was $498 million. So you have to ask, was there a cabin with the address 498? And if there is, would there be another person there who's a suspect in the murder? And what do you know? And I was like, what? No. <laughs> That's not, that's not what you usually do, Dale Cooper. You just, you just got a, a lead about who to arrest from a fucking Jaws movie. Like, that's that. I, I, and I, maybe I heard it wrong, but I was like, oh, is he every once in a while just like popping, he <laughs> popping did. off the Hot Wheels track a little he, bit? Uh, yeah. There was another one. I think it was that same murder, but I can't remember. But uh, he, he accuses the guy of realizing he wanted to commit the murder after he saw a movie. And he was like, oh. And he was like, why did he do it? Because the movie was the ghosts of his past. It was played out when they, stor- the, they stormed the Nazi castle. The Nazi castle, castle was storing his poor memories or something. And it was like, it, he, he, I don't even know. Maybe the facts of the case was that he watched this movie. But the guy was just asserting like, this guy did it. And it was because he watched this movie. And this movie is the perfect analog for his life and that's why he murdered and it's like it like this is all interactions you know in, in human uh perception i think we all are playing this sort of detective throughout the damn day right right because because he is able to say i don't get the answer i don't get yeah he knows the right answer so the way he works backwards is super interesting and right. that's to keep his ass personalized and on air There's but in some respects it's something that we all sort of do like that person did not let me in that parking space because they saw what kind of car i drove right. and they they made a judgment about me because it's dirty today and it's there is a little bit of a Hulk, like a uh, uh, porn kind of like nerd r- rage kind of thrill I get too, because he's like such. Yeah, he's like you can tell like he's he's driven by like an a, like truly like a fetish for explanation. Like I feel like that he, lo- he he actually like more even more than me, which is a lot. Like he just loves the feeling of explaining. It's like yeah, I love like, it. Like that he becomes yeah. like when a dog puts its head out the window, it probably just doesn't even know. He's just like I I'm gonna explain this, and that's like that's why his cadence goes like up. Is it's like because this the thing, and like that's the sound you make when you're when you're enlightening people. And he's just like it, it's like it's like go baby go. Oh, explain yeah. everything like yeah. like 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 don't even look back what is that Haters port gonna doing? hate <laughs> what what is that port doing with that adapter oh, he's always oh. talk he talks about yeah. all this weird stuff like he's like uh, he's like this is a port and it needs an adapter so who was the adapter uh, uh Adnan's religion. It plugged <laughs> perfectly into the port of oppression or something like that. It was really like he goes really hard, but he says some stuff that like to me was like really, really profound or whatever. Uh, like he, he talked about how like when a healthy person goes on vacation, they just realize that it's a change and they'll return to the normal. But when an unhealthy person goes on vacation, they're looking for an escape from their reality. And when they realize the escape isn't from the, the, uh, from the problems they actually brought to it, they get upset. And then when they return and things haven't change they lose their minds or whatever and i was like holy shit like this guy is just saying truth and i like never thought about it It was like blowing my mind he was saying like people say they drink to forget but what they're actually doing is uh communing with the past and i was like oh damn i feel sad now (laughs) it was because i i I smoke a lot of pot and i was like oh fuck (laughs) that's me baby but uh it was just like that's the thing but a lot of times they're like you're you're just being an asshole right now and other times it's like oh man my life <laughs> it's do you, crazy do you think we should he lives in los angeles let's he, go he, well i mean but i don't know i don't know what yeah, this thing is like there's let's this thing him. i'm doing now like i had david let's cummings on i had the girls from red handed on it's like this tradition of like oh the uh, r- r- you know dan Harmon with willy wonka reaches out with his golden tickets into the world and like spoils relationships that that should really stay maybe consumer relationships i don't know like fuck I, that. i'm like Mah! i felt i'm like i'm like uh 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 uh, uh, uh kim jong whatever in uh, uh the uh the fucking seth rogan movie that that almost caused a nuclear war <laughs> Uh, no, uh, we should look this dude up because I want to know: A, does he have a criminology? Is he a uh, background? Is he a writer? All these things that you want to know. Because if if he's like, I gotta fill three hours, so of course I'm gonna pontificate because I'm a writer. Then right. That's great. But if he's like just a, a lay person who is talking about these things, that's super fascinating. Yeah. That I want you know who I, you know this. who a, a, absolutely I would have on in a heartbeat just because I think that uh, you, you guys listen to Dan Carlin's uh, hardcore history. Yeah. Where where, do, where does he live? I don't listen to Somewhere. it. Somewhere. 
I wonder if he lives like. Well, fuck it. I mean, I flew people out from London. I think I, that's basically. Yeah, like, fuck I, it, I, I, man. I don't give a shit. You I don't, don't give a shit. I'll, you I'll wipe a my shit. ass with this money. Wipe ass. Wipe ass. Yeah, wherever Jay Carlin is, like that would be, he would be George an amazing George Carlin. Guy to have. <laughs> it's really interesting. I listened to Dan Carlin, and uh, and I was like, this guy sounds a lot like both Zach Galifianakis and Heath Ledger, and uh, and then I that, and then it made me realize like why they cast Heath uh, Zach as the Joker on, in the Lego Batman movie. I was, <laughs> I was like, they, like somebody must have been like, oh, he sounds a little bit like, don't you think? Yeah, all right, whatever. Yeah, I maybe. think Dan Carlin sounds like George Carlin. Mm. Yeah. And if you just word of advice, because like I, I, I mean, Dan, uh, uh, hardcore history, it has like I don't know. There's been a couple episodes where like Cody and I were both like, I, I kind of, I, 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 I don't get it, like, and not in a good way. And then it's like, like, you feel, don't feel like pressured to like. Listen to that one. Skip around. I, I guarantee you'll find one that, for whatever reason, just gets its hooks in you from the first sentence. And there's no reason for you to not hold out for that. And the, like, like, like it'll. And the, but it was like a very healthy thing because I was like, wait, history. It's true crime, but you're kind of learning stuff. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and they have a ton of forensic <laughs> evidence, so you can get uh, deep, deep, deep into it. It's always good to sort of shout out to. That's what. That's why I asked you, what are you going to be involved in if you're not going to be, you know, uh, like we all were, sort of glued to the politics? This is a, a great answer. So. No, I definitely since I left Twitter, like there was, you know, I did withdrawals and stuff like that. And I recently had like a fucking like I, f I had to delete the Reddit app again because I was like in there for a little bit. And then I just found myself for three hours just like and I, I'm like I, I deleted it for the good of mankind. But um, I, I I got my Instagram, which is a thing where it's like, OK, if you if you make a thing that's a minute long, you can put it up here. If somebody underneath it says anything other than I'm really happy that you're happy. Um, you can be like, go fuck yourself. And if they say, that's how you treat your fans, you can be like, yeah, that is. Go fuck yourself again. And if they say, like, that's fucked up, and five people come in and say, you're fucked up, I can go like, you're all fucked up. Shut up. I don't care. Like, it doesn't feel like it's going to end up in TMZ as right. much. I don't mean to flatter myself. I'm probably not TMZ material anymore. And I say that with like fucking fingers crossed. Like, I just want to be like, like recoiled a little bit. Like, I it's cyclical. It's a weird thing of the old social media. You, uh, you, you you have to take but it's con it's content driven you know you yeah. like Instagram like do you find that Instagram is like uh, I find it content driven oh what do you what do you what's going on with you just tell us with what just in general what like the what fuck? first of all what the fuck is wrong with you what's come wrong on with yeah me? what's wrong with you I like what did your parents I do <laughs> wrong well you why didn't you tell me what's wrong with me oh okay all right uh, here we go finally. <laughs> finally get to find out. Steve loves that one. You got the peanut gallery laughing in the background. <laughs> Sorry, Steve, you're not a peanut. You remember when it was still like maybe it was never politically correct, but when it was like within <laughs> bounds, like if there was no like, but like we talk, I think we talked about it on this show. Before. It just it came up in my head again uh, the other day, like when we were like we were kids, we were like t twenty in Milwaukee, and like. <laughs> Like we were just our, the improv troupe that we were in was all dudes and we were constantly humping each other. Yeah. Like as a bit, I yeah. just, probably to millennial ears makes no fucking sense. Yeah. No they do sense. it. I, <laughs> they do what? it. They, you're they you're do a contrarian. It. You just like millennials hump each other. They I, do. It's it's as old as time. Probably in there's bed. problematic yeah, millennials. Yeah, I don't I don't think like millennial dudes yeah, like that are like in improv troops like 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 like. Hump each other like a, like as a do you, re do you remember? Do you remember we would we would sing the song "Get Aboard the Butt Fuck Train"? Do you remember that? I mean, that's like, just like problematic. Go, like that that train's hauling problematization. Train. Yeah. But I was just, I was, the butt there, fuck train. I don't remember like, that, but I was. Just, and then it was like you know one like Sean was like combing his hair <laughs> in the bathroom, and I think like you started you you started the train. You started. Miming like you were humping him, and then of course I had to get back, and then and then he would like act like he was like reading the paper, and <laughs> walking, <laughs> checking the schedule on there, and it was just like another person yeah. would join us, and then there would be like a, it would be you know kind of like a, yeah. a can, what do you, what do you call a conga line of, but everybody was humping yeah. each other, we would be chanting get aboard the butt fuck train, and yeah. I I I want to say we did that for maybe hours. Oh. 
was just that night. Because yeah, yeah. it never stopped being funny and hilarious because like Sean would be in the front and just like acting like, oh. I'm yeah, he's just doing gonna, taxes. Oh, and I'm going to do this. You know, it just, it just having it's a like rite a, of passage. A yeah. millipede really of, of the uh, 20-something. That's why it's problematic is because it's very fratty and like, like yeah, subcrack. Whatever. I don't have yeah. to problematize it. There's, I mean, a, there's, a, there's an industry that can do that. But uh, When we were 13, we were like that. And then there was another wave of it like when I was 18 with the pack of dudes that I ran with. And they called it fixing. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How fucked up is that? Fixing, like, fixing. I think you need like, to get fixed. Yeah, we we about to come over here and fix you, bro. <laughs> and, they, and they literally would s- scoop your legs out from underneath you and pin you. Like I mean, we animal. were like, <laughs> it, it was like because the joke becomes no like, good. well, it's a joke, and then it was like we were like, yeah, it was like the more like like committed and the more yeah. like abusive like abu- abu- it was just like, oh, what are you what, like who? And it's like, oh, that is like I look back at that and I go like, well, that's not. You're kind of like actually weeding out. Uh, uh, maybe a bunch of funny people who would like go, go, like be like, well, I'm not gonna hang out with those people. Yeah. Like, and they might be really smart and funny and like. But anyways, but I was I only brought it up because I just, <laughs> I just remember like being in the kitchen at my house oh, and my dad like sitting at the counter and like <laughs> I, I the like, story. Yeah, I know. It's just, a, but it's just amazing. You grabbed me from behind and were like pantomiming like thrusting into me and you and you and you and you and you held me by the shoulders and 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 through clenched teeth said look at your father while I do this to you (laughs) and my dad was like It was like, I don't expect you to understand, but at the time it was like, like this is pretty cool. I mean, like, because it's like, it was, I, I mean, well, I you fe- kept committing. I was, I know. Only, I, I was like, you ah, 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 ah. And, and, like, and he's like, look at your father. Look at your father. <laughs> and my dad was just like bright red and like just had this big grin on his face, which, you know, it was like, it was like, it's like, my, my, what it, is wrong with me? What is wrong? Well, we were with twenty, it? and it was nineteen fifty. I mean, it was like, like I, I don't, I don't, I don't mean to, like, I look. I feel like, I, like my personal feeling. It's easier because we're older. Like, of course, we want to feel this way. Is that look? I, it, there's, it's not an excuse, but I do think that there should be a little bit of awareness of like, well, you know, I, and 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 look, I gotta actually say, like, you know, how many times have I like kind of lambasted my parents for their kind of like, you know, behavior that became unfashionable as of the '80s, and then I was, uh, you know, even on this stage in my uh, late 30s, like kind of like, oh, really, you know, like I kind of like fucking play that card, like, oh, they did this, they did that. And like, my mom's excuse was always like, it was the 70s, everybody did it. Like, and I was, you know, like, oh, like, get up, like now that's what comics are saying, like about like we found this thing from 1999 when you were at this club doing this thing, and we found this sitcom or whatever, and it's like, well, it was on NBC. I don't know what to tell you, and it's like kind of like neither. It's that doesn't make it f- good, but at the same time, it's isn't it sort of like I guess we're just sort of having that debate now. But uh, it's uh, a shitty thing to go to and shit on the past when you could be fixing things in the present. So yeah. it just takes time. It's a shitty thing. Because but at the like time, I will say like, it just. I mean, what is that if not like the same thing as like playing heavy metal music really loud? Like we. So okay, so we weren't like you know that we were twenty, and it was like that was the thing that made my dad red, and it wasn't because he was like angry. He didn't feel his thresholds being pushed. It wasn't like. It wasn't like like well, the joke it, wasn't, was, it wasn't like we were like what yeah. you weren't emasculating my dad. No, that well, was the, I was, that was embarrassed, the, but it was it was about embar- making somebody feel uncomfortable. That was right. the bit. You but know, but my was, my dad's expression on his face was very farting. much like I don't know how to react to you guys. Like I don't understand your humor. You know, which I think is a good thing it, culturally for like yeah. between generations. It was like you guys are like I, I I think that people twenty years younger than me should like do comedy that makes me go like what the fuck yeah. like um yeah. which i do see all the time and i enjoy yeah uh 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 rob what do you what do you got to plug aren't you doing you got a netflix special coming out no i don't <laughs> <laughs> you're going on tour no come on let's play a clip it's called the uh, picasso's uh thumb <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Uh, huh? what do you think about that huh Ladies, can I talk to you for a second about washing your ass crack? I don't want to hear your butt crumbs in my bedspread. I love
love you girls, but some of y'all need to wash y'all's ass. <laughs> Rob, are you doing like a, is that a lot of your older material <laughs> in that uh, clip? Is that, you, know, you, you know, from the, yeah. That's like your Def Jam set because yeah. you felt like you did good that night. I felt like I did good that night. I listened to the cheering. I did do <laughs> well, good. Well, it was Jeff Jam, and I think you were getting a little bit of a, like, the, you know, crazy white guy comes out. You kind of did the, you know. I, I, you know, I think you got a boost. They were being supportive. <laughs> By laughing and applauding, yeah. Yeah, and, like, I don't know if that means that you... Uh, did, did, did Netflix respond positively to your... Special? Is it getting good Netflixes? Yeah. Do they have ratings? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I don't want to be a negative Gus. Okay. Good. Uh, we got another clip. I was. Uh... How come <laughs> Irish people always gotta be running around rainbows? <sighs> they always rainbowing and shit. <laughs> 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 it sounds like some Def Jam people came to the Netflix yeah. auditorium because they remembered you. Yeah. It makes sense that you would play to that crowd. I get that. So was it 45 minutes or what was it? 40, 46. Mm. Oh, did you do a little sketch in the beginning? Yeah. Did you book Opener, it? Opener, title sequence. Like you get in a cab and like... I come out of the cab. The cab's on stage. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Like, like the cabs in the video, and then you open the cab door, and you're on stage. I think that's cool. Were you, were you in Memphis? Was I a Memphis? Were you a Memphis? Were you in Memphis? I was in Memphis. What did you eat? Was there food? How was Men it? Mentos. Mentos in Memphis. Ooh. I love that album. Um, <laughs> how long were you there? Are you being serious? Yeah. yeah. No, I was in Atlanta. Okay, so that's near Memphis. Yeah. Okay. How long, you yeah. how long were you How long were you going to lie to me? Well, I didn't know if Atlanta? we were doing a bit or no, not. So <laughs> <of> that voice. <laughs> forever, probably. Uh, I am getting a little. You get this onesie is I, the onesie plus the lights. I am getting just reporting a as a consumer thing. Like it's maybe not designed for sitting under hot lights, but I still I think they're, I think they're very comfortable pajamas. How uh, How was Atlanta? It was not. I didn't see much of it. I was working a lot, okay. but uh, in Memphis, in how do you like the traffic lights? What's that? <laughs> the traffic lights aren't they different than us? No, it wasn't Europe. You no, know, they are. I've been there. Uh, I didn't notice anything. Well, then you're weird, <laughs> Spencer. How was Atlanta? <laughs> oh, it was great. Oh man, I had a great time. They had traffic lights on strings. I tell you. Oh, is that what you meant? Yeah, way different than here. I've seen it before, but yeah, it's, it's Where? different. Right, because you lived somewhere else before here, huh? How many oh, years shit. out are we? <laughs> before I, Will I see the day before I die where I can safely say I don't enjoy the Blues Brothers movie? Ooh. Or still a couple of years, it sounds like? Okay. <laughs> yeah, in two I years. I didn't you know your generation. Of, you know, I was I like, okay, all right, still. Well, do, wow. you talk, do you want to talk about that? No, no. Yeah. I'd, I'd rather keep my <laughs> fucking friends and career. So. I don't think anyone needs Just as with Apocalypse Now, I'll go on right on pretending <laughs> that, oh, wow. Well, wait, has a, anyone what a seen. Cool choice. Has anyone seen Blues Brothers here? <laughs> Fair amount. What do you think? What do you guys think? <laughs> right. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I think they're trying to trick me. It, I think they all didn't watch it and are lying. Did we talk about the Stan and Ollie it, movie up here? Did I, talk? I don't think so. Think no, I haven't watched it yet, so don't ruin that, too. Uh, it's pre-ruined. All right. Okay, so, all right. So go that ahead. Is a, that is a go piece ahead. of shit. Wow. But I do, I don't you know do love it. the performances. The part, yeah, actually, yeah. Coogan, yeah. like, is, is <laughs> amazing. Yeah, the both of them, but, like, yeah. I, I, I kind of feel like Coogan's d d doing w what's his face like is like I don't know to, to me it seems more impressive yeah uh, uh, but because maybe it's because I'm a big guy that would probably yeah. be between the two of them cast as the other guy so yeah. I feel and I feel like I'd go well what are you doing oh a bowl of cereal hmm. you know and that's probably easier to do than uh, the other guy. I thought Coogan, Coogan, very John impressive. C. Riley. I couldn't I help Coogan. but think as I was watching it, I was like, I if I was either of these guys watching this movie at the premiere, I'd be like, like in my seat, like kind of just 
cringing because I would know that the composer was sitting somewhere in the theater and as an actor that wasn't in the edit bay, I'd be like, I didn't know they were going to play this music from front to back of the entire fucking movie. I feel like you watch them and you imagine the music stripped out. This is all this music that's like, oh, these guys are doing something <laughs> funny now. And which is just fucking death. <laughs> I'm going to be brutally, brutally honest. Just because I like, I don't, I please don't. I, I, I like, I, I, when, when I was in the same rock block as 30 rock, I always thought like 30 rock would be, could be like the new Mary Tyler Moore. It was whatever. It was a great show. Emmy winning very best comedy writers in the, in, 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 in sitcomery. Like the, it's just, it was the, it was the funniest show. And I just always felt like, I was like, just can he can the tuba? Just like it's just just pull it out, you know. I spent so much time on community going like, like like um, the, thank you, wonderful job. Like that's very clearly that that song makes it very clear that she's walking down the hallway and that she has a secret wish. But like I can also see it on her face, and I just think that if we just like get that out of there, yeah, that this speeder bike scene in this redwood forest can do the job for itself. Um, and, 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 <laughs> and I, it's, there's nothing worse to me than like yeah, like somebody doing something quirky in a movie and quirky music playing. It's like, yeah. like, like like what is the what does the music think we're think we don't understand? Like like that's crazy. Yeah, I think that music should be like a different channel. You know, it should be like. It should be ironic. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just I mean, it, by nature, channel it's proper four. use would be technically ironic because because the music is there to. <sighs> I just heard you. <laughs> I gotta did work. I I, I, did I tell you like when when the Sarah Silverman program, sorry, got like canceled? Uh, <laughs> Justin's dad, like I, we were hanging out with Justin, and Justin's dad goes, "Oh, that's too bad. The show got." Got canceled. That you should, you should, you should pitch it to Channel Four. They do a lot of really crazy stuff on Channel Four. You should, you should really, <laughs> you should, you should pitch it to Channel Four. They, sh they would put it on Channel Four. Yeah, that's Just, us now, by the Justin way. Justin Roiland. Uh, Channel Four. I was curious, like, I went to a website because we were curious. I was like, we were talking about uh, parking uh, enforcement. And uh, how you know, like you've 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 seen them like perched and like waiting, um, and of course, you then you realize like, oh, they they must work on a quota. Like, there's no way that they just that you make the same amount of money and get the same amount of respect as a parking enforcement officer if you come back to the office and be like, everybody parked great today. <laughs> like, they're gonna be like, I don't believe you, yeah. fuck you. Like, so there's no, it's, it's one of those unfortunate things. So I, like people have stories about like, I could see the fucker waiting for me, yeah. like, like waiting for the car. I'm like, well, they kind of, it's like, well, yeah, you pro it's like, it's just sad. Like, I mean, what, but then I heard, somebody told me like, it's beyond what I even think. It's not even a quota. It's like, like they work on commission. Which to me crosses a line where it's like, well, of course that's gonna, that means that to me when I hear that, that means that they're getting paid less than minimum wage. A quota, it's like, well, okay, probably a, maybe a necessary evil I'd be able to argue. Cause like, what, what are you supposed to do? But like, uh, th th that commission thing, it's like, it's like, like, oh, this, <laughs> this behavior is just like a, it's a door. And then you get these like, but anyways, I was like, wait, aren't those people all cops? Somebody was telling me this story. Sort of. About they were watching a guy. They were having coffee. They watched a guy. Classic story. Some of you have been in it or at least seen it. Uh, the, the, meter, the, the meter's five seconds from running out. The parking enforcement person is standing there waiting. Um, the, the, they take their pen out. They start writing the thing. They probably use emojis now. I don't know. But uh, um, the uh, person runs out. I've been this guy. Uh, runs out like, come on, I'm, I'm out here with the change in my hand to do other thing. We used to have this thing called change. And uh, the and by the way, misnomer, changed nothing. Um, the, uh, the, <laughs> that laugh made me want to kill myself. The, would have preferred silence than that pity. So it changed uh, your life. 
<laughs> if, but by the way, that's that was a facetious statement. If you're having thoughts of self harm, you should talk to somebody. Um, the, uh, uh, the, 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 and then the, you know, they have the big argument because it's like, oh, when the pen hits the paper and all that stuff. And, and and my friend said that he was there for this. He was watching. He's having coffee. He's just watching this thing transfixed. And the guy is so frustrated, so outraged, and he shoves the parking lot, the parking enforcement person. And the parking enforcement person did not react. Like like, like they, it's almost like, maybe not. It happens all the time, but they're just like, they didn't react. Like they they just like cool as a cucumber. Like yeah. lo- like. And they walked over to their thing and got on a CB. And the person was just sitting there having coffee. So they're there 10 minutes later with like, <laughs> just like swarms of parking enforcement people, not cops, <laughs> just yeah. all of the, all of the parking enforcement people. Yeah. Like they all got the call. You know, there must be like a code red, like kind of thing where like someone's fucking with the, someone crossed the thin, uh, uh, baby hey, blue bro, line. <laughs> So they all just start writing tickets. I don't know. Yeah, that, well, they, apparently they didn't do anything, but it was car. just this show of force, which yeah. you know, that's it was it was just like they're like sitting there, like leaning against cars, like looking at the guy, and it was like, well, wait, what, aren't they cops? Can't, isn't that assault? And they're like, no, nah, they're not quite cops; they're officers. So we started like we got online. We're like, what? How does this work? If you're a parking enforcement, if you've ever worked in parking enforcement, please, like, Fuck you're off. listening to this, like, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck right off! No, no, I we'd love God to. Bless. I'd love we'll to talk to you as a guest. Here. I think that would be an amazing guest. I think we'd love to hear your stories and your, like how that works. I, I'm not kidding. I mean, like, don't, don't you it. think that would be like uh, if you met a parking enforcement officer at a party? Wouldn't you? Be, wouldn't you have like several questions? Um, Why are you an asshole? Uh, Did you go to college? That's not. They're Your not asshole. You get in here. Who they're, invited they're, you? They're, they're, they're doing. They're right. doing a job. Yeah. No one. No one wants to do. I'm not. I'm not saying like they're all heroes, but I'm just saying like they're not. Come on. I mean that's. But 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 uh, 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 we we were. I was like, wait. How come I grew up thinking that the only way to become one was to have the the chief tell you that your hijinks had gone on long enough and that the mayor's calling from downtown? Like I always thought that. That's why I never fucked with. I always thought that like. Oh man, these guys are like the worst of the worst cops. Like they're ready to snap. Like 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 yeah. this guy could be could have been Mark Furman yesterday. Like he's like waiting for me to give him an excuse to put his like holdout uh, twenty two on my body and p- sprinkle cocaine on my face and just leave me in an alley. <laughs> Wasowski, uh, the murderer was parked in front of your house. And they're like, and no. you let him go. <laughs> and no, now you're like, gonna be a well, parking attendant. Like, <laughs> and that, that that would be a funny bit was like because I was, I was I was like well, he's, he's like I'm going to the website like how do you become a parking enforcement officer and it was like <laughs> you couldn't figure it out and I was like see I told you because the list is like hidden from the public and then we started riffing the list it was like well if the mayor is sick of your shit like or if, you know like just the kind of like the, the the prerequisites of becoming a thing in web form would have been funny like the bullet points first you need a writ from the chief that he's been torn a new asshole. <laughs> Yeah, and it goes on and on from there. And I'm uh, so, uh, what am I, Jay Leno? It's not gonna, it's not gonna fly. I didn't really write any of them. I don't care what you think. I'm getting over an approval addiction. It's important for me to tell you to go fuck yourself. It's not, it, but I, don't, I, I want you to not have to pay for therapy to know that that shouldn't matter to you. I didn't mean it. I'm thinking about myself. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Here's that thing about the Stan and Ollie movie. Can I warn you about something that is going to like really bum you as out? As long as you don't ruin it for me, because I wanted to try to watch it and maybe the Stan and Ollie a... movie makes the incredibly curious decision to fade okay. in on the two of them at the peak of their career, just before it's over, is a cold open, and you see one scene from that. So it's sort of like this is where things ended, and then it goes to black. And it says, 16 years later. And the entire movie is them old and failed and failing and dying. And that's the whole movie. Oh. oh. Okay. That's kind of what the synopsis of it is. When you, when you say, when you read about it. I knew that. Okay. So you're going to love it. I don't know yet. Did you not like that about it? 
I thought it was a strange choice just because, and then you're going to say, oh, what do you want? Well, uh, I don't know. You want to see the movie. day they meet? You want to, I'm like, I'm kind of thinking, of, I'm like, yeah. Like, like I'm not, what, what am I, a uh, fucking, like, Philistine for a bit thinking like, well, okay, can I make some yeah. assumptions here? 90 minutes, 100 minutes, uh, give me 20 of uh, the two of them as individuals, 10 pages each, like, oh, like, uh, like show me meeting, show them meeting, yeah. cross the threshold of them working together, show them rising to prominence, meet with the goddess on page 60, and fucking, like, and then have difficulties start to happen, tear them asunder, but then they choose each other over the system. I mean, I like, where the story go? I'm not saying, like, tell me which story happens, but I'm just saying, like, that rhythm, like, but I think the problem probably was that they were sort of like the monkeys. I mean, they were assembled, right? I got that implication from the, from the movie. Maybe. That they were placed together. I that it was Warren, sort of like, oh, you're funny yeah. and you're funny. You guys should do like a fat guy, skinny guy act. But still, even as I say that out loud, I'm like, I'd love to be a fly on the wall of that scene. Yeah. Okay. Because, uh, oh God, this guy. He, uh, like, well, like, I don't know what you want me to say. I was, I, I purposely didn't watch it because you and Cody said we should watch it. I come back from Atlanta, you watch it, and mm. the last three times we've hung out, you're telling me how shitty it is. I don't even get a chance to watch it untainted. You tainted it. You always tainted my stuff. Why you gotta taint so much? One more, one more, please. Tainter. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry about that. No, you, you're like, not. No, I, I, I didn't really like. I'll tell you the truth. I didn't. I had a chance to watch it, and I said. No, we all said we were going to watch it together, and that would have been a nice moment. And now we don't have that moment. Because this motherfucker, out, you... he outside throwing rocks and uh, ice at wolves. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe that's what's going on. you pencil that into your schedule. Yeah. You're so busy fucking with these coyotes. But you can't be a real friend. <laughs> the more you know. And I like the Blues Brothers movie. I think it's oh, great. Shit. I know, I know. <laughs> like it's really, I know, you and Dino love it. I was really, it. really inspired. Chicago. I it? watched it with you, and you explained the whole time. This is great. Look at this. This is great. And I'm like, it seems like a long time to get out of prison. I love it. Yeah, I mean, what's not to love? I didn't watch it. There you go. You got... One ally. Blues yeah. Brothers 2000. I'd oh, be interested boy. for people to like watch that without having seen the Blues Brothers <laughs> and, and like watch their face. So it'd just be like, like, I don't know what they would be like though. It was, it's not, it's like, how did this get made? Did it, I think? It, it, oh, did they? Yeah. It was, so a lot of the audience, I assume, was in that position. Yeah. I mean, it's so like, it's so fucking odd. It's so odd. But to me, it kind so of, here's shitty. the thing about Blues Brothers 2000, which is directed by the same director. It, it to me part of what Blues Brothers 2000 does is it is it shines a spotlight. Here's the thing: the spotlight on Blues Brothers <laughs> is indicative of a time in our country's history when people were in love with the blues. But what are the blues? Blue is a color. So I intend to look at the John Bonnie Ramsey case through <laughs> the lens of the chromatic spectrum. There are three kinds of colors that complement each other. Pink is opposite of blue. Blue is opposite of orange. If you add the three together, you get orange blue. Um, the, uh, I think Burke Ramsey uh, and Gordon Ramsey had an orange orchard. Uh, the, uh, it just, it's a, because it's like, the second one is like, it's shot in HD, and it's sort of like, it's definitely very much it, the most incentivized to recapture the magic of the first one. And it's kind of interesting to me that like when you try to recapture the magic of the first one, you, you end up with something incredibly confusing. Is it one of those movies where it's just sort of like, well, look at them, they were having a good time. Like it's like Easy Rider, you watch you Easy Rider so and you're like, to... look, I'll take a flyer on this being historical, but to me it looks like guys dicking around. Like, but, maybe, but then you find out it was important that they were dicking around. They needed to dick around, it was right. so important. I was like, okay, so good movie becomes like a little bit, you got one 
foot out. Like, oh, it's a good movie because it said fuck you to Paramount or something. I'm like, why? That's it, dude. Can I see that scene in the movie? No, you got to watch Dennis Hopper do acid in a cemetery. Okay. Well, so Paramount hated it. Okay. Well, then it's a good movie. Ah. I mean, at the time, it, it doesn't really hold up. But at the time, it was like uh, different than your average comedy that was on because uh, they were a little darker and more alternative. The outfits weren't like, you know, you had Robin Williams. So there is that, where there's like it's either Robin yeah, Williams yeah, no, from I can see that. these cats. And then there wasn't a lot of shit coming out of Chicago film-wise. So there was like a home base win for all the, all the comedians in the scene that was in the Midwest. It'd be like if uh, Dana Gould got famous doing a show in San Francisco. Everybody'd be like, that fucking show was amazing in San Francisco. So you got diehard Chicagoans spread out in LA and in New York that rep that movie because yeah. for them, it's their like first like well, fucking those are our guys, that's our home team, that's our movie. So they quote it like Star Wars fans do. I know? mean, this is yeah, this is all stuff that's not in the movie. It's right. all stuff that's out smeared outside the movie that it's like, oh, if you understood yeah. how important this movie was to Chicago and to improv and to comedy and to a generation and to things. I read the Saturday Night Live like book, whichever the one was, like, well, I don't know, Live from New York, like the oral history one that kind of walked you through it. It was sort of semi-authorized in that it was like interviews with everybody. And... uh and, and that was the part that kind of fascinated me because that was before my time. I mean, I was a little kid. I remember the Blues Brothers being a thing, but I was like, always sort of like, what's going on with this grown up shit? Like, why are these, why are they, I'd be like, mommy, why do they care that that fat man is like doing a somersault? And she'd be like, I, my mom didn't have, my mom didn't go like, you gotta understand, Chicago's finally getting its props in the comedy scene and, and the alternative is Robin Williams. I, like, my mom was just like, my, my, you know, I think my mom was enjoying the Blues Brothers and she was probably like, it's just fun for him to dance or something yeah. and I was like okay I'll yeah I I, uh, I, I, I I get all that I just sort of like when do we when do, when are you allowed to be like this movie I mean it's just I like think Rotten Tomatoes you that's can, why it doesn't you can you can you can say you don't like the movie anytime yeah you could say anytime the closer, I don't like this movie closer and it's to okay. release is better it's okay <laughs> It's all right. Go it's ahead. You know, it's growing on me. <laughs> oh, shit. I like the nun scene. I like how hard she hits him. And there's Aretha Franklin. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Who could forget? <laughs> she really sang that song. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Should we have John Landis as a guest? We could, eat, we could get him for sure. He's a big community fan. He gave me he was he was the, he was Did he you gave watch, me the most flattering community compliment. You watch Cannibal Run? Yeah, I liked Cannibal Run when I was a kid. I don't know if I've never I don't know when's the last time we watched Cannibal Run. Oh, uh, we we watched it. We but I I definitely wouldn't yeah, I think we've watched it as adults so we're just like you guys are so fucking yeah. drunk Here's and the thing. poked yeah. out. Here's the thing. That's what it reminds me of. Here's the thing. So summer that Cannibal Run comes out is also the same summer as uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark comes out. And I'm about to go to the movies, <laughs> and my, and a, and a, my next-door neighbor, uh, Shelly Lipke, says, don't go see Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's so gross. <laughs> they, they have people <laughs> melting at the end. Go see... Cannonball Run. <laughs> Best movie of the year. Go see people melting for the entire movie. Yeah. <laughs> go see Cannonball Run. Best movie of the year. And I was like, well, all right then. And I sit down and I watch it and I go, well, that, I don't know if it was the best movie of the year, but I thought it was okay. I thought it was all right. So I never saw Raiders in the theater. What? Until I never saw it in the theater. I had to wait till it, and I didn't see it in cable because we didn't have cable. I had to wait till it came out on VHS. I, that was the first time. That's the only time I saw it. Ooh. You know? And here's the other one. And this one I can't blame on anybody. Same year, same summer, Back to the Future came out, was also the same summer that Transylvania 6 5000 <laughs> came out. Yes. And I went, Jeff Goldblum's funny. Yeah. I'm going to go see it 
and enjoy myself. <laughs> Watched it and loved it. Smiled from oh, ear man. to ear. Thought every joke landed perfectly. I thought it was hilarious. I walked out. I was quoting it for weeks. And people kept saying, you didn't see Back to the Future? I'm like... What? I can watch Michael J. Fox on television. I'm seeing Jeff Goldblum and Ed Bagley Jr. goofing off in Transylvania. This is gold, I'm telling you. I was, and I uh, never saw, I haven't seen, and I didn't, I missed out on seeing Back to the Future in the theater. Yeah, I dragged my friends to see Spaceballs. I was like, you don't get it. Like, this guy's the master of comedy. He made Young Frankenstein. Fucking, he's been, I mean, like, he's been doing a Star Wars movie. This is going to be amazing. And my friends walked out there like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I was like, I can't. I'd look, I, but I, I remember uh, going with my friends. I was, I was, we were still uh, not 17. I don't know what we were, but uh, we wanted to see Beverly Hills Cop 2. And uh, we went to the theater. We bought the tickets to Project X with Matthew Broderick. It's about monkeys getting irradiated uh, and, uh, and Matthew Broderick dealing with it. Um, uh, and uh, we went into the Beverly Hills Cop 2 theater. There was, uh, it was like, the, it was sold out. So we were like, three 12 year olds sitting in the aisle in a rated R movie. So it was, wasn't long before we got yeah. ushered. Um, and, uh, uh, we got ushered into the theater that we bought tickets for. And we started watching project X, which I had now missed the first 10 minutes of, but I was immediately fucking enthralled by it Cause it's Matthew Broderick dealing with the slow realization that, uh, he's in charge of these monkeys. Uh, and they're, 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 the, the experiments that they're doing on them that he's supposed to take care of them in the cages. He's like basically a janitor in charge of these monkey cages. And he's like, these monkeys are super smart and he's like falling in love with them. And there's like a monkey trainer there. And then he like, sl- he's like the threshold is him finding out. He like hangs out long enough to realize that why, what they're doing they're putting these chimpanzees in these these little like model planes and then like they're basically like te- using them to test how far you can be away from an atomic bomb after it drops before it without getting cancer so they're just irradiating the monkeys like zapping them with radioactivity and like like Matthew Broderick has to deal with finding out that that's his job that his friends that he's making these monkeys are like I know they're apes I don't want to get letters uh, from apes the the, uh, uh, the, the, the the they don't have tails or whatever the the, 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 the uh, but but and, and I was like and then my friends were like so god damn it like they they were like in detention watching these monkeys and, and and I'm just like god damn this soundtrack oh Matthew Broderick it's like I haven't seen a performance like this since Ferris Bueller like this guy like it's a Ferris Bueller like has a heart he's like, he doesn't want these monkeys to die and, and, and it was like like it was like the, the soundtrack was like and I was like 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 holding back tears and like and they're like coast is clear let's go back and watch eddie murphy like fucking like run around and 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 i was like um you guys go on without me and they were like are you serious and i was like yeah whatever i don't want to get bounced again but i was like i don't want to watch beverly hills cop 2 i want to watch monkeys get irradiated and cry and i'm glad you're leaving because now i can now i can fucking not hold back because i'm the only one in the theater because everyone wants to watch eddie murphy i'm gonna fucking like like fucking shoot tears out of my uh ducks like lasers and see what that feels like and i did and you know what it felt like getting humped by rob You know, you have those little stories where you kind of like, oh, I'm different from my friends. I think I'm gonna. Yeah. I think I'm gonna skip the next sleepover. Maybe. Maybe I'll. Te- maybe I'll do like one or two this the next month. When's the last time you seen Transylvania <laughs> Six Five Thousand? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I think. I mean, I like movies like that. I've only seen in adulthood, like so drunk and high. I have yeah. no. I know we watched it, but I watched it. La- I watched it about a year ago. Which was the second time I ever watched it. First time I watched it was in the theater, like many moons ago. And then I watched it recently. I was like, ah. To give I- you guys context, the, the comedy team of Goldblum and Begley Jr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, so. Like this they paired one. them like that was a thing. Like, like but- Goldblum, Begley Jr. Yeah. <laughs> Run, yeah. don't walk to. But it, but I remember I, I watched it and I was like I remembered every single joke, and I found it to be very funny. I found it to be a quality evening of entertainment. Hmm. 
and I I would like to watch it again. I think I'm going to watch it again. I remember the opening is is funny because it's like a it opens like a cold open and it's like a found footage way before that was a thing. Like no, this is this is decades before Blair Witch it was sort of like you're opening just in like VHS footage, um, which was it's weird. It's, and, and then like it's just people going like, oh man, this is fun. Oh cool! Like, what are you doing, Damien? Like, oh, I'm having to kill, let's drink some beers or something. They're like Bigfoot attacks him or something, something or, like that. Yeah, and, and they're like, like, "Whoa, it, it's Bigfoot! Run!" And it's like, but it's kind of like hokey, like like it feels fake. And then it comes out, and they're at a newspaper office or something, and yeah, and they're like, yeah, oh. it's it's it was like the one of the first ones to say like, "You guys allergic to boredom? We should wrap up the show." <laughs> 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 Most people just uh, do nothing and slowly stop coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's helpful to have somebody that's actually like God, I, re- I reject this. Uh, <laughs> it's too bo- boring. <laughs> boring. Oh, I'm sorry. What were you saying? What happened to Spence? Oh, he's just he's he, bored to death. He okay. died. I'm dead. Brandy, you still alive? I'm still alive. All right. Let's uh like D- like what do we, let's do a rap. D- yeah, you know. I D- mean, D D D. Oh, D- what? D- no, I mean like no what, D- that. We could talk about D and D. Let's talk about D and D. We got seven minutes. I don't know. Well, it's just we gotta we gotta figure out a plan. Yeah. Should we ever? I mean, like, what do we do? Jeff's uh, Jeff's now out of town for right. Like, I mean, I'm fine either way. Hey. Okay. I I just wanted to make sure. No, no, it's cool. If not, then let's. He's uh, he's whispering. Show your dick to me. Wow. (laughs) And he's whispering it into the microphone. Wow. Show you, show you yeah, like six years from now, man. You're going down in flames for this. Uh, oh, not, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Now I'm going to go down. <laughs> what? What? Oh. Six what are you going to do? You're going to be... All, 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 they're, all. they're never going to hire you when you're 72. Oh, no, I'm never going to get hired again? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh... <laughs> oh, no. How's it going on your... Uh, uh, are we allowed to talk about you working with... Uh... You can't. I can't. I can't say. I can't say who. But I'm everyone working that's with. working on it can Instagram it. Yeah. Well, yep. they're not supposed to. I snitch. can't. Oh, okay. Snitch. I can say. I can. You I can snitch. say. All right. Well, I can't talk about Cody. Cody got her. Uh, t- Cody's doing yeah. her show with Quibi, and Anna yeah. Kendrick is playing her in you her talk autobiographical. About, I, I'm, I'm, you could, is this dummy? Yeah. yeah. Congrats. And so they great. got. They got. It looks like they may have finally found Dan Harmon, but I'm not allowed to say until until he's cast. Uh, ben Affleck as he, Dune. <laughs> he passed. He passed. But uh, hey, my name's uh, yeah. da- Dan Harmon. Uh, hey, what are you talking about? For, the, for those of you, you know, following this drama, I think I may have said Nick Offerman passed. I mean, in the in the in the in the biopic of like trying to cast Dan Harmon, it's like Nick Offerman passing. That should be like, that was our closest shot. Like, I mean, that's the guy that should play me in the biopic, right? <laughs> oh, I'm flattering myself. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> what about John C. Riley? That could be funny. I think, I think we, you know, I think what we either went, to, when I say we, it's not, it's not my thing. I feel like it's my thing. It's just like my, my fiance is like producing it in bed next to me, but it's not, I'm just, I just listen to these conversations about, Whoa, what about Warheim. John C. Riley? Uh, <laughs> what? Eric Warheim. I like Luca. 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 What about Luca? There's Luca. a thing I don't think there's a, there's a there's a directive. I think I talked about this. It's like oh, they want the A list. Like Anna Kendrick is the lead, so they like they the it's like the intersection between like who why why would it's like it's my part is not a it's like a it's like a gender inversion. So like my part is about as interesting in a, in the script as like it's like I'm the I'm the floor lamp, you know, in terms of like. You know. So it's a documentary. <laughs> okay, thank you. Come on, I you guys. Like, on. I'm trying to. to. I'm trying Come to. Come on, it's Look at the floor Jesus. lamp. <laughs> <laughs> he turned you on. Hey, you don't even work, floor lamp. Don't encourage it. Floor just... lamp. <laughs> all right, look, tomorrow's Tuesday. You all have shit to do. Tomorrow's Wait, Tuesday. Well, uh, uh, do you have a... Uh, you, you were saying... <laughs> You were saying that you had the charities every once in a while that you. Oh yeah, yeah. What did yeah? We, let's, you got what, anything? I don't. I can't remember. Was it, I was drunk last time we switched one, right? Didn't we have somebody up here and I was like, oh, let's do that. Did we ever do it? Do, do we have a charity in motion right now? 
What? So, Anybody in the audience? I don't know why I was asking booth things like they're going to respond. Like they're like, uh, that's a Roger. What about? Uh, does anybody Charities in the audience go. have a charity that they've worked for recently that they? Uh, Woo! Valley, Valley Community, Community Counseling, Counseling Clinic. Clinic. Do they have a Facebook page? A oh, we? Can you can you can you shout out just a kind of a log line of the of the thing? We you don't have to. I don't know. Do you oh. have a phone number? Okay, that's I'll, I'm 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 Ooh, I'm, I'm down. That. Back up. I mean, man. do you have a personal phone number? I need to. <laughs> Does the does your uh, does your community does your community center have a phone number? <laughs> we, have, uh, we have like three minutes. Can you plug it really quickly? Can you come up here real quick and plug it? Uh, and can we also can we also have a beat? Um, oh, we don't. I guess we don't. We don't have, have a beat. beat. That's all right. I'm the sorry. Va- the valley. Oh, okay. Here we go. Valley I guess we do. Valley Community Counseling Clinic. Okay, if there's any anybody, the mics uh, just aren't good. Uh, oh great! In the How in the in the in the cogs that can make that happen. Go to our website. That's where Kevin Day's money's going. If you're listening and you're like, I hate mental health and the Valley. Uh, it's not your money. Your Don't subscription money isn't going to that. Your your subscription money is going to oligarchs. One of our oligarchs. Uh, you know, uh, they got is, good bread there. Is, is oh, what money. is uh, what's your uh, name? <laughs> Tell us your name. My name is Dina. Thank you so much, Dina, Thank for you, telling Dina. us about this. Are uh, you in the do mental you shout health? it out one more time for yeah. us so everybody gets it clearly? Go to our website, oh valleycommunitycounselingclinic.org, or call 818-763-8604 for help. Thank you so Yay. much. Valley Community Counseling Center. Yeah. Yo. Valley Community Counseling Center. 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 Yeah. Yo, the Valley. Valley. Needs Community Counseling Center. Center. Yeah. Center. Yo. Yeah. Center. Yo. Yeah. Community. Yo. Do you have mental problems? Yes. You don't got to have mental problems. Oh. Everybody got mental problems. Yeah. No such thing as a mental problem. Mental yeah. problems is mentality. Our species has sentimentality. Sentience is a mental disorder. I fucked your mama at the Mexican border. Fuck that. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that has oh, been Harmontown. <laughs> Shout out to Spencer Crittenden. Thank you. Rob Schraub. I'm here for Jeff Davis, I'm Brandon Johnson, also in the booth, Zach McKeever, Chris Borg, Sarah Hill. Church, we love you so much. Uh, Who else am I forgetting? Kevin Day. Who else? I think that's it. Thanks so much for coming to the Downtown Dynasty Theater. We love you. Good night. Thanks and for get coming. yourself a, a brewmate. Brewmate brand drinkware. And some Yundies. And give yourself an applause. Just Give one. Give yourself your You don't have to Just do one that. Just one applause. Guard Give yourself an applause. Predator P. Give yourself an applause. You don't applause. have to let other people tell you what to do. It's late. It's Monday. You know, you can just, you don't have to do anything. Give, give yourself an applause. <laughs> Give them, why did you throw in an applause? Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> While you're up, applaud yourself. <laughs> <laughs> give yourself an applause. No, seriously. Seriously. Give it. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.